Let me just read through these another time, just to double check, make sure. So, use my breath weapon. I've got to do that a hundred times. It shouldn't be too bad, although it does take XP to recharge, but presumably it's doable. Getting the spells won't be too bad because I won't be wearing armor. The question is do I go with strats or do I try for dex anyway? I probably have to go with dex anyway. Dungeon level 7 by XL7. These bastard seven. crawl devs hate Draconian so much. Gargoyles can wear crystal plate and fly, but Draconians are forced to bare chest the dungeon and be happy with plus one fighting aptitude. I mean, plus one fighting aptitude is not too bad. But yeah, the, it is kind of funny how Draconians can't wear armor. Like, the armor will fit on anything else from Spriggans to Trolls. But try put it on a, a Draconian, it just won't fit. Uh, where are these Draconians? I haven't played a Draconian in ages. Yeah, probably in here somewhere. Maybe here. There they are. I had to start as a gladiator. Uh, presume I start with a pole arm. Because that's what it said to get with my uh, weapon skills. It says specifically weapon skills, right? Let me just go double check that. Yeah, so I'm allowed to get shields and armor and stuff like that. Actually, I can't get armor, but I can get shields and dodging. So that's fine. Do I start with any charge of my breath? Not good enough to have special abilities. But do I get my breath? Is that a 7th seven, seven level thing, isn't it? Alright. I'm 2nd level. I'll probably get to 3rd level by the end of here. And I'll start diving once I get to around level 5, I think. Or level 7 when you get a color. Yep, that, that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, just double check. Definitely can't wear the leather armor there. Don't have to get the spells going by the end of the game. So the... Okay, the ones I have to go out of my way for has been on dungeon level 7. Uh, by the time, before I reach level 7 and then reaching level 7. Hi for a Draconian game. Yeah, I've played one in ages ever since I got like the great Draconian. And there was no need for me to play them anymore. I start with I start with a bit of Dex and strats. I mean that's a decent combination of those, I guess. Oh, what's this guy doing? It's just kind of mucking around. It's not even moving up to me. All right, level three. I will get Dex. Um, try and get some dodging at some stage. I what am I actually training? Thankfully, things I'm allowed to train. <laughs> um. Yeah, that would have been bad if I had failed already by training things I wasn't allowed to train, but I made sure I got pole arms because I knew I was allowed to get that one. Alright, well, Acrobat uh, is fine. I'm allowed to put that one on as well, so no problems there. I think Draconians have a reasonably fine early game, although they don't have a huge amount of armor. Ooh, want to flame, flail protection. I don't want to find him right now. I'm also ages away from the staircase, but I just gotta go back to the staircase. Oh, uh, that's not perfect. I mean, a giant cockroach in my way. Yeah, I'm better off just trying to avoid him for now. That's the scrolls going two of something and one of everything else, basically. Right, so they got a choice, probably Phantasm, although Diva sounds pretty cool. Um, I don't think I'm technically allowed to go Phantasm and then swap to Diva, though, even though both those gods are allowed. Because I don't think you're allowed to abandon your god. I didn't actually see the text there, but I'm pretty sure that's generally the case for these uh, cosplay challenges. All right, well, I can put on the, put on the boots. Kind of a lot of orcs. I can bring them back to the corridor, but I probably won't bring them all the way back to the staircase. I don't think I need to. All right, fourth level. That's fine. I'm allowed to be fourth level. These are not phantasms. There is what? Zom, Ru, Kiku. I mean, out of those gods, if I was to go with one, it would definitely be, um, Ru, I think. But no, they're not approved gods. Neither is Maclep there. 
Not good. Not all about summoning demons this time round. I wonder why Phantas for um Tiamat though. Like what's the what the lore is behind that? Hmm. I would always think of like Tiamat as being more of a Guzak worshiper, but maybe that's just because that's what I think of Draconian says. Probably take on the scorpion. What do I start with? Some nets, but not much else. Alright, fifth level. Oh, is it ogre? I'm gonna have to go downstairs soon. Um, Yeah, I think, because I'm only on dungeon level 4, I need to get to dungeon level 7. Can I get some of my stuff identified at least before I go down? I'm gonna try and read one of these scrolls. So I've got identify, and I've got another scroll of oh blinking, nice. I'm glad I didn't read those the other way around. I've also got some tragedy, some fog. All right. I don't know. It's not blockula. I'm not tough enough to fight blockula. I'm gonna have to find myself another staircase here. Yeah, this is definitely the challenging bit, getting down to dungeon level 7 quite early. Ooh, a cloak is very, really nice. Oh, good, another identify, which I can go read on. Mm -hmm. Potion, I guess? Oh, heal wounds, that's gonna help. Okay. Dungeon level 6. Oh, ow. I think I can kill this guy. Hopefully I can reach level 6 on dungeon level 6 and then I can head down to dungeon level 7 and get to level... There we go. Yep, I'm 6th level, so I gotta find... Well, there's Phantas. I can, I can grab Phantas. Um, I gotta go down pretty quick. I don't have a magic mapping or anything. Who just went invisible there? Did it say? Or was it always invisible? Hmm. If it was always invisible, it was probably a sky beast or something. I'm like 50% of the way up a level, which is a bit of a worry, because I don't see the sta uh, staircase. I'll head he down with Juvessa. Um, i got to run away from those ones. I definitely can't kill those ones, and they probably give too much XP anyway. Come on, this is, hey, there's a way down. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Now I've just got to level, reach level 7, and then, which is really close, because I'm like 90-something percent of the way up. And once I reach dungeon level 7, or I can't really stand on here, because it might put me up too many levels. <laughs> once I reach level, level 7, there we go. Level 7 on dungeon, oh, dungeon level 7. Yep, that's it. I'm fiery red. Well, I guess so many red draconians. So I got a combustion breath. I want to give that a try. What does that do? Buds those dudes up. All right. Oh, this guy's got a net. Uh-oh. I can't try combustion breath, this guy. All right, well, it's two out of a hundred uses of my breath. But what I should be doing is I should be making my way back upstairs, I think, now. To whatever level the dungeon I was doing. Um, please get in this net. Okay, the dude's friendly because I'm with Phantasm, which is kind of nice. I didn't mean to pick up the giant spike club. I think I already picked up the meaningful stuff there. What level was I even on when I started doing the going up randomly? I guess it must be about dungeon level 3. Good, I done dungeon level 3. Uh, it's another rogue I've got to presume if I use a breath every time he gets up to three, that I will be able to get a hundred, no problems. I got some enlightenment, all right. And you can, I think, check with your character dumps how many times you've used your breath. Um, because that lists how many times you've used the various abilities, so I can always check before I'm about to get the pick up the orb or something. And if it's not enough, I can go do somewhere else for a little while. I'm in love throwing, right? I'm pretty sure I'm love throwing pole arms and fighting as my weapon skills. All right. 
That's a fantastic watch, but I can't do anything just yet. But eventually I'll be able to do some briar patches, which is always useful with the... Uh, Paul loves... Oh, not Blocula. Uh, okay. Am I tough enough to kill Blocula now? Um, I don't know if I can ab. Because he's going to turn into the butterflies and stuff. Oh, he turned me into pig. Yeah, I'm not tough enough to kill Blocula, am I? Maybe if I got, like, three breaths or something, I might be able to just, um, overwhelm him with breath attacks. And all of it even tells me how I've got here. I had breath, and that was bre breath plus. And I guess it will become, like, breath plus plus or something when I get the last one. Or maybe it'll be a breath star or something. Who knows? It's blocular again. Can I just polymorph him? Probably not, because he's a vampire. Um, He's not resistant to fire. He's got a lot of various, very colorful spells on him. Oh, he took me into pig again? All right, well, I'm escaping him again. I'm just going to end up running around. Also, oh, perfected super breath, blast, blast, blast. That's what it's going to give me. Something like that. Oh, what? Come on, follow upstairs, dude. I want to just fight your minions. I want to fight. There we go. Oh, come on. What are you doing? He's just bouncing all over the place. All right, got good old Blockula here. Um, I just got to run away from Blockula, I think. Because he somehow managed to not notice me. Hey, there we go. It is Breath Plus Plus. All right, I'm going to go try and find Blockula now. Where did, where did I leave him? Somewhere around here. Um, somewhere. <laughs> hey, there he is. Okay. Okay, do a combustion breath. And now he turns into all these, like, random little bats and stuff. Do they do special damage? They, uh, drain health for the living? Are they all just vampire bats? And oh, they are. I don't have... I mean, maybe I should cancel my combustion breath for these bats. Can I split the group up? Oh, they didn't even follow. Are they going to re... Oh, they reformed into Blockula. That's actually a problem. Um, I don't have a teleport scroll, do I? No, I don't think I can kill him. I'm going to try one of these scrolls on him. Oh, no. It was pain. I'm going to drink a healing potion. That's a bit of a shame. I'm going to try another one of these scrolls. Revelations, okay. That's not gonna help. The poison. Chardama, that's not gonna help that much either. Um Can't polymorph him. What can I actually do to him though? Cause I'm not doing very well with my attempts to fight him. But I guess I can attempt to fight him some more. There we go, he's turned into bats. Is that less bats than before? I don't know, but I'll just leave him upstairs. As long as I don't go back up, I should be completely fine. I mean, I can fight him on the raw brother or whatever. Uh oh. Down Juvesimo. Uh, down bounce behind me with the blink spell. Oh, what do I have? I'll just do a little bit of flame or something. I could have offered a prayer to Fantas here. Why not? Let's go offer a prayer. All right. So we got a little plus seven dagger. I'm not allowed to get dagger skill or short blade skill. So this kind of pointless using a little dagger. 
What's my cloak? I think it was all right because there's a scarf for repulsion there. It's plus two. I'll pick this up, but uh, for now, it's definitely better if I wear the cloak than it is trying to put on some repulsion. I wonder whether our attendees be allowed to use blade hands. Oh, that did some damage to me. Um, what even is this thing? Can I do the briar patch just yet? Not yet. Gotta try to retreat back because I do have the acrobat. Oh, is it unseen horror? It's probably an unseen horror. Judging by how it's moving around there. That's fine, I can take this back to a staircase. I don't really have any sea invisible, do I? I've got an amulet of faith or an acrobat. Oh, no, the... Uh, unseen horror followed me. I think that might have got rid of it. Said I'm not winning this battle, am I? Can I polymorph Edmund here into a Basilisk Scorpion or a Guana? That's actually a good uh, thing. 50% chance, though. Hey, there we go, Scorpion. That should be fine. Oh, and of course it's Blockula. Um, that's fine. I'll just go upstairs, heal up, and then find another way down, I think. What's the challenge with this character, Sally Roses? So, uh, I've done one of the challenges. I go back to the challenges. I got to play as a Draconian Gladiator of either Phantas or Jeep, and I took Phantas. I got to only train Paul Ups, throwing and fighting, which I'm doing. I've got to get some 4th level higher ice, fire, earth, and air spells at 10% failure or less. Um, use my breath 100 times, which will probably happen. I did, this is what I did. I reached uh, XL7 on dungeon level 7, which is good, but I've got to win the game to get it, unfortunately. And the other was kill Tiamat or a Pearl Dragon, which sounds kind of difficult. So that's, uh, that's the plan with this character. Oh, there's the unseen horror. Wait, do I always know where it is? No, I don't. I was just getting kind of lucky to always know where it was for a while there. Uh, <laughs> Trying to get to a corridor, but there's not really a corridor around here. That's probably in there. So we had nothing, where's it gone? I don't know about this, I might just go upstairs and try and rest this off. Oh, of course there's a blockula staircase, not that staircase, I might go down the staircase and rest it off. That's probably a good idea. Um... Right, so he's just got a boomerang, but nothing too special. What sort of orb is that? Because I could there use an orb. It's orb of energy. I don't actually need an orb of energy. I could try out my um my other pole up here. So I've got a Hobbit that does 19 damage, 1.1 1 .1 attack delay. I do 13 damage, 0 0.9 attack delay. Yeah, I'll use a Hobbit for a little while, but I'll go back to the, my trident if I ever get a shield or something. That one could be annoying, the Tiamat one. Yeah, definitely, like, if I don't fight Tiamat, fighting a Pearl Dragon could be really, really hard. Because you have to go through, like, Pandemonium and hope for the best. Uh, could get stuck farming holy for Holy Pandemonium. Yeah, and if you don't get it on Holy Pandemonium, then you're in big trouble, I think. Oh, there's a teleport scroll. Uh, brilliance, alright. And a Lignification. Right, ninth level I can get. I gotta get more decks, and some say I'm just gonna get some dodging. Actually, I'm already getting dodging. I might turn off the dodging for a little while. Hold on, so I get the fighting to like 10. Pull ups like 10. Um, I don't actually know what the mid delay is on like a. I guess a Demon Tron doesn't need much skill, does it? If I get one of those, which ideally I would get one of those. Oh, hey, Prince Rubit. Got some nets if I need to use them. I might also need to use my combustion breath on them. Oh, I probably missed it. I 
Oh, the explosion missed them. How does the explosion miss? Oh, yeah, well, it did. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep him burning him. There we go. They got rid of him in the end. I don't know, it just feels kind of weird that you... I mean, I guess I just shot the explosive bolt or whatever was straight past him. Ooh, dropped two flaws from Sauce's Malevolence. Right. I can't do a briar patch. Um, at some stage I should get the invocations for that. Because that's pretty good with the pole arms. That looks nice. Uh, plus one trying to protect it. I want that one. Um, there we go. Got rid of it. And I should be able to go grab it. Trying to protect it. I think it's totally worth using. Even uh, when I don't have the shield just yet. Oh no. Roach. I don't think I've got any willpower. I can... Um, I can do a lighter bit. Do a briar patch. Magical effects are unraveling. Wait, she has a uh, wand of quicksilver, does she? Or did it's, uh, she possesses the following wand spells? Okay, yeah, she does have a wand of quicksilver. She's still got 90% of her badge, but she can hit kind of hard with the giant spike club, but hey, she's dead now. I didn't really have a lot of choice but to find her getting shafted down this deep, though. Mm, at least Maggie's, like, uh, doing fire damage mainly. I can get her with... What can I get her with? I don't know. I can breathe on her if I need to. But if I breathe, do I hit both of these guys? Yeah, I do. I might do it again, then. I failed. I just uh, had a dry mouth or something. Alright, well, I do want the staircases up, although I've got to find this troll before I can get to one. Probably should put it in a net, I think. Yeah, it cost me the net, but at least it got rid of the troll. I can take the staircase up. I'm still one level down from where I want to be. There, oh. Oh, two-headed ogre. Mmm. I doubt a polymorph's gonna make it better. Shrock Serpent, a Blink Frog, or a Glass Eye. I mean, two of those things that are proven. Shrock Serpent is not. Could just round up the staircase for now. Just, like, remember the staircase is the one that has, uh, has some tough things down. I'm just by uh, excluding it, I guess. Right, well, I get dodging up to, like, 8 or something. I'm not sure how effective that one's been. But what I really need is, like, 6 invocations? Am I going to get polymorph tier? Hold up. Am I just going to lie to myself? Although, I would, oh, hey, that was fine. Turning into a mushroom is actually not bad. Okay, so I probably didn't need the, the polymorph after all. For some reason, there's always beast by these um, trog altars. I'm not sure the significance of that. The pet of wild animals. Whoa. That's a lot of whites together. I mean, I can just bring one of them up, but I should probably go find myself another staircase. I feel like those black bears almost need to be behind the trog altars because they do love to do their berserk. They're kind of more appropriate for that. That's probably fine. This is quite a few of the yaks, though. I wonder how the breath would go in, like, this corridor. I want to give it a try, because it's at level 3. No, oh. Hold up. Did that miss the guy in the front, and then just travel through and hit the guys in the back? Or how did that work? Because it doesn't seem to match up quite with what the target I said it would do. I guess I breathe the fireball and it can actually miss and go blow up behind them or something? I don't know. I don't quite understand that one. <laughs> Just yet. Uh, 
Jack Quicksilver, all right. I've already got some of those, but I won't say no to some more Quicksilver charges. Oh, Roots, I'll definitely take some of those. I haven't seen Roots in a little while. I think my last character got a Wonder Whopping or something. Can't remember what I got before that. And then there was uh, the game I played for Win uh, 420 where I played an old version of the game that didn't even have Roots, I think. Or maybe the Roots existed, but I certainly didn't get it. Uh, check out that spear, but it's probably not that good. I just gotta <laughs> kill him first, I guess. I should probably take it out before I killed it. Ooh. I know it's in here. I'm just gonna try and stab it. There we go. Okay. Take pull arms up to 14, although that's my current weapon's probably got a higher mid delay. Oh no, it's perfectly on 14. Just like the demon trident, sir. I'm glad I'm not a necromancer or something with this number of whites, although I'm kind of deep enough in the dungeon that uh, I guess necromancer is always going to have problems with whites. But yeah, definitely glad I'm not one. I need to use my breath on something, but none of these guys really seem that worth it. Maybe I can do these guys. Because I, I don't want to let that build up because i got to get to 100 uses of it. Um, yes, every time it gets up to three uses for remaining, I should just use it. Should probably burn this vampire. There we go. Oh, uh, actually. Oh, I'm out of breath. There are roots at... Oh, lots of things. Um... Right, well, I guess we're the vampire. Um, hopefully, I can get some breaths back before I have to deal with this two headed ogre. No, I cannot. I might just, I might just go down another staircase. Hopefully, one of these will allow me to evade the two headed ogre. Oh, oh fine. I'll grow a ballast drama set, I guess. All right, well, it's confused. And it's dead. That does the trick, I guess. Oh, there's a cosplay tournament. There is a G lot. Let me go see if I can find the link to that one. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's, I think it's Rogue that's running this one. But you've got uh, one cosplay challenge a week for the next four weeks, I do believe. Yeah, there, there's a link to the tournament, at least to the current week, I believe that is. And it started um today, actually, I believe, about three hours ago. So it hasn't been running for very long. No, well, definitely give it a, a try if you're interested in any of these sort of challenge runs. Oh, whoa, why is it opening something random? Microsoft something or other. Uh, no thanks, go away. Why are you opening up? What sort of keyboard shortcut did I accidentally stumble into? <laughs> I know, like, a lot of the Office uh, applications, like the Microsoft Office ones, technically have, like, really obscure shortcuts to open them up. Alright, I'm just gonna run all the way back to the staircase, I think. Uh... That guy zapped me with a wand or something. It felt, it looked like it did, but I, I don't know. I thought I saw someone zapping me, but it definitely didn't have a wand on it, so I guess not. I should check what other challenges I've got to do. Things that I've got to work on. So I've got to get the spells going. I've got to use the brass. What else is there? We obviously don't forget about not trading the wrong things. There's not a lot to do until, like, really late on. Um... Alright, well, hopefully I actually find spells of the appropriate schools, but I probably will. Although the multi-school ones like Plasma Beam and Magnifold and stuff really count towards one of the things. And technically, you can get higher level spells than you need to, as well. Um, so I've got to, got to care about fourth and ones. So yeah, like, there's a fire spell there. What was the other one? There's an ice spell there with the whole frost cannonade. 
or I guess the metabolic glaciations also one that it could be used. But I don't have any of the um earth and what else did I need? Air, I guess. Ooh, my first ring is more fire potential. I got two fire potential now because I'm a red draconian, so that's what I get naturally. Huh? You gonna do anything on to explore? Could use my breath. Could just dump some roots on this guy. There we go. I mean, the roots did the trick. Dungeon level 11 is definitely as deep as I want to go. I should be able to just take that guy out. There we go. Uh... It's going to be all right. I'm just in a good spot in case I need to bring out my plants and hide behind them, but I think that was going all right. Does that plant? It doesn't stop this guy attacking, but it does make it slightly harder for it to hit me, I think, because sometimes it will hit my plant by accident. And the good thing is when it hits my plant, I think it takes a bit of damage as well. Um, it's already a spear freezing. I feel the trident of protection. That's going to... Probably even do more damage, or at least similar damage, as well as give the protection. Oh, I've got my breath back, do I? No, no, I've only got two breaths right now. Right, well, next level the dungeon. No, not next level the dungeon. Let's go to the lab, probably, at this point. Whoa, no, not Harold. Um... Hold up. We just hold Howard back with some roots and then pull some of these other guys up. It's going to be kind of bad when I go back down, but at least I kind of separated them. Um... Well, that doesn't need to be excluded anymore. I think it was a two-headed ogre or something sitting on that staircase before, which is the reason I excluded it up. It's going to be a problem when I go back down. Oh, yeah, this guy. All right. What have we got down here? So that's not too bad. Although Harold's still got the chance of getting me on the net before I manage to get back up there. That's not working. 205 regularly, but I still want to just fight this guy. Because I got my plants in the way, at least. Keep it at bay. Right. What do I want to do with Harold? I'm going to try and hide behind my plants. Oh, he's got an axe and he's hitting all my plants. That's kind of a shame. But I'm going to try and burn him up with a bit of breath. Is he out of nets? He's still got a net, unfortunately. All right, well, he's not going to get his retirement. He didn't say anything when he died. You did that uh, way. Isn't Harold the one that gets to say stuff when he dies? About how he, it was his last job before his retirement. No, he didn't say anything that time. Round. Let's go this way. I can get into a choke point. Uh, Polyps are good. I'll just get fighting to 14. Uh, Polyps should be on mid delay. I'll get dodging to like 12. Invocations, maybe a little bit more, get that to 12 as well, because I think the, but yeah, the Battle Storm is dead, still got failure on it. And for a little while, I had another ability, but clearly I've lost some piety. Um, yeah, there it is, the Overgrow went on 19% failure. That can be good just for getting through walls, but it can also be effective in combat. Why am I going so slowly here? What's all those stones I was discovering? Uh oh, Aurug. Plus 5 Evening Star, that's actually a pretty good weapon. Um,. Well, I've got to start with a Brown Stormer set. Oh, don't shoot me. What are you doing, Brown Stormer set? <sighs> okay. Oh, the roots didn't work. Um, or I should get confused again here, at least.
Yeah, these guys are both kind of wandering around confused. There we go. Balstrom has said to do the trick in the end, even after it blew me up once. Um... <laughs> And I'm back to layer one, which is where I'm actually meant to be using. Yeah, that overgrow ability is not lasting very long. I definitely keep on losing the ability to do it because I'm spending my piety. But it's better to spend your piety than to die. Scales feel tough at plus eight armor class. That's not bad. Because that's kind of going to be the only potential I get though with this character. Going to be the draconian armor class. I mean, it kind of always is, but a draconian. All right, I've got one um, identified. I've got eight of whatever these are. Eight curing potions. A good thing to know about, especially when I can confuse myself. I don't have a poison dart. Oh. Oh, uh... as far as I bother being able to blink away, I was totally expecting it to blink away, and then I'd have to put in a briar patch to stop it uh, doing extra damage or rampage to me, but didn't come to that. Oh god, I got all my breaths. Um, I need to go find somewhere to use one of those ones, I think. I mean, not these guys. These guys are just really weak stuff. It's gotta be something. I mean, this guy's like half decent. I'll use a bit of breath on that guy. No, I think my breath's more for dealing with groups of creatures, because it does seem to explode and hit multiple things. I can get to the choke point next, so that I should be able to kill these yaks. Also, I can see like steam clouds or whatever those ones are, which suggests to me that the uh, swamp is around here. Oh, that's too many guys behind me. Um. Ah, <sighs> uh, that's the actual problem. I might teleport out. Most of this level's clear. There we go. Hopefully some of these guys kind of get separated from the pack. Some of the blink frogs is what I'm hoping. I'll definitely swap. Also, I'm land over. I'll definitely pull it back so it's not next to the trees anymore. And I'll try some combustion breath on it because it's going to be quite a tough. Excellent, there we go. Yeah, I've had problems with some of those guys outside the swamp before, although they're definitely not quite as tough outside the swamp as they are inside the swamp, because they, um, well, you can pull them away from the trees a little bit easier than inside the swamp. Of course, it is uh, considerably earlier in the game than when you'd be fighting those guys inside the swamp. Oh, plus two gloves of howling? I'm allowed to do throwing, so those are pretty nice. There's two more armor class. Do I have anything to throw? I've got like a couple of boomerangs. I've got uh, seven javelins and nine nets. Oh, I'd have a few throwing things. No, not there. At one point, I want to get into throwing probably reasonably soon. I guess uh, as soon as these skills reach their target, I guess I'll start getting into the throwing. Wait, is that a region hamlet? Why is it grayed out? I kind of do want a region hamlet. I'm not sure. Maybe I've seen one of those before and haven't picked it up for some reason. Oh, it seems strange that that would not be on auto pick up because uh, it is a good hamlet. I haven't already carried one of those around. I'll just have to check my inventory. Let's see. Oh, I am already carrying one of those around. That would uh, explain why it wasn't on auto pickup. All right. Well, I can drop the giant spike club. I can drop my old, uh, my like initial trident. In theory, this should have matured itself, and I should have a bit of regen. 1.2 region a turn almost. Well, it's actually 1.18 or something. But 
but it should really help with those fights where, like, in corridors, just trying to constantly stab a whole army of creatures coming along. Yeah, situations like this, where I'm just fighting one thing at a time, it makes those super trivial. Having a bunch of regen, where is that teleport putting me? That's at the... Snake pets. I don't have any resist poison right now. At least I don't believe I've got any. Nope, doesn't look like it. Hopefully I find some soon. Um... Oh, wow. I actually did a shortcut for the, whatever that thing is, Microsoft Office or whatever. I still don't know what that shortcut is, but I keep it accidentally hitting it today. Something seems really weird with my, my, my mouse is not working properly today. And I seem to be hitting keyboard shortcuts that I've never hit before. So that's doesn't seem right at all. I'm not sure what's going on there. Alright, got the side pits, but I should go to the side pits. It would not be a good idea. I don't have anything to help me out there. Do I have a lignification? Got three lignification. I should be fine with the shark. Mm, oh, once I berserked it up, that was silly of me. No, I was almost dead. I could definitely take it out with it's that low in health. No, oh, that was not a good idea. I shouldn't have let those guys get all the way up to me. I wasn't going to be able to kill them. I should just get into the proper choke point. Because it, it does exist. And I do have teleports if I need to get out of here as well. So I don't have to worry about the fact that it's kind of like a dead end. I used to be kind of overly worried about those dead-end choke points, but, I mean, it's not much worse than just being in a corridor. At least there's no chance of anything coming up behind you. Oh, they got a reflection. I don't even have a shield yet. I'm still hoping, hoping for one of those shields sometime. Oh, fear scroll's good. Let's double-check that there's not one, but usually later in the dungeon, there's, like, a little buckler or something. Oh, that's way too many guys. Uh, at least some of these guys are like the ones that do elemental damage or doing fire damage. The resistance that I've actually got. I don't think I got willpower though, so I could get petrified. Speaking of getting petrified. I think it's fine if I petrify here. Yeah, because I kind of resisted it up to these guys. It should be fine. Oh, ooh, right next to me, a Hydra. Oh, breathes the breath on it. Okay. Good thing is I don't give the Hydra's extra heads at least, but at least the Basilisk did not come along at the same time as the Hydra because that could have been lethal if it had of petrified me. I probably wouldn't have made it back to my turn. Um, before I died or something. Currently a spear bearer. Or jokes of the game, I've got a trident, not a spear. I I did have a... Did I ever have a spear with this character? I don't think I did. I think I started straight with, straight with a trident because I started as a gladiator and I actually started with a decent t uh, tier weapon on them. Oh, good, I got, uh, got another breath back. I was noticing those messages in blue, but I wasn't really reading what they were about. I think they're just uh, messages about getting my breath back occasionally. Now that didn't really work. Okay. Uh... So I just had to make my own uh, choke point if I'm not going to find one naturally. I mean, it kind of worked. And the guys took damage just by fighting their way through it as well, which was something at least. 
Galaif. Galaif. Probably not going to end up using a Galaif. I doubt it. What? Oh, there's a fire crab there. I didn't even notice that guy. I was kind of camouflaged in the lava. It's a good thing this character's got tons of fire resist. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a very good thing this character does tons of fire resist while these guys are around. The other thing I want to do to these guys, I'm going to breathe a little bit of fire, but it's not going to even work on some of these, unfortunately. But I was maxed out of my breath, so I needed to use one to work towards my 100 breath usage. Just... Nah, it's doing too much damage, isn't it? If I put a bit of roots on it, though, maybe it'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. Uh, get out the briar patches, but it's probably not going to have a very hard time just burning those up. I can probably kill the fire dragon in the center. I reckon I can. I've got, like, enough fire resistance. It should be fine. Character feels kind of tanky, but they don't feel like they're doing very good damage, which makes sense. They are, I mean, they are using, like, a protection weapon and everything. Um, is I going to do before I pop this, or do I think I just pop it? Maybe we should have let the dragon get a little bit closer, because I wasn't quite in melee range, but yeah. Alright. The region to strand tablet, I mean, <laughs> it's a slight improvement of what I've got, I guess, two strand helps my damage out. That's a way down. Oh, wait, not down. I need to go to dungeon level 12 at this point. I'm done with the level. So I've got all my breath back, so I can just go... Wake this guy up with a bit of breath. Uh, no, way. head's a funny shape. It's not being a draconian. They have, like, the large heads or whatever it is. So, yeah, I've got the hat on. The only thing I need is a shield. I need a ring. I've got another ring of fire protection. Man, that, that seems incredibly excessive at this point. Also, I've probably got an extra regen amulet, don't I? Probably don't need the acrobat. There we go. Uh-oh. 50% of banishment. This is terrible. I mean, I can get that at like 30% or something. Let's see, 22%. Uh... Okay, I can do my combustion breath. That's probably got this under control. Oh, this guy's reflecting damage. I might just run back a little bit. It can't hit me with this pole up, unfortunately. Um, there we go. It's dead. So it's got a plus two hull punch. Probably not something I'm going to use. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Briar Patch is a run, I think. Because there's a ton of guys here. What even is this bolt? It's got everything in it. Um. Hmm. I definitely gotta try and split these if I have any sort of chance of killing them. Okay. I'll leave the bolt for now. Hey, potential, that's better. I don't want the fire potential on. In fact, I could probably drop that fire potential. Yeah, I'm fine with just two fire protection, I think. Don't need a third, really. Uh, I can't wear the troll leather armor. I can't wear any body armor. Alright, well, this is uh, just a Cyclops. It's not like a stone giant. And a... What else was there in that pile of creatures before? There were some pretty serious things in that pile of creatures I excluded up. Yeah, I should probably leave those excluded. I'll do one more level, but I gotta do the Orcish Mines soon. I do know about the Orcish Mines. I could just go do them. Uh, wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea just to go do the Orcish Mines. Now I'll finish this level. Uh... 
What would happen if I bring out my little briar patch as well? Those giants will still try throwing rocks at me. Because I guess they'd probably just hit the briar patches instead. I guess they'd probably still try throwing rocks at what's this? Berserk Rage? I've got uh, quite a few identifiers here. So I've got Brad Weapon. Um, I could read Brad by Protection, but Protection's fine for now. If I find a better weapon, I could go Brad it up, though. I've got some Amnesia. Hey, two requirements. I might be able to get a better weapon out of one of those. Oh, whoops, what did I read? Vulnerability? That's not quite right. That's not what I meant to read. There's a plus nine bar dish here. Do I really want to go two-handed? It's got poison resist. It's got resist corrosion. Um, there's also gloves of uh, three into the sea invisible. Oh, it's questionable, but that bar dish is a good uh grabbing the Bardish, but like I'm not convinced by it. Oh, is there like a strength and cold resist here? There's stuff, there's an orb of rage. I don't care about an orb of rage. I think the eight strengths uh cold resist ring is probably the best thing. The other thing is money. I think I just grabbed the ring. And again, I think I swap off one of my fire resist rings. Alright, well. It makes sense at the moment to use this, uh, body. It does good 50 damage at 1.2 attack to, like, it's alright. Right, well, it's definitely time to go to the Orcish Mines now. What just teleport me there? Uh... I blinked. The Orc blinked. There must be a dispersal trap. Oh, there it is. Add to that area. You know, that makes sense. Um, I mean, at this point in the game, this is definitely a huge upgrade over what I had. I might be able to swap to, like, a demon. Try it later on. Um, I know a lot of guys here. Hold up. I think it's time that I get all the way back to the staircase here. Now, oh, where are they? <laughs> okay. I think with a stroll attack me, actually, it's not attack me anymore, but even with an attack me, I could get back to the staircase, no problems. Actually, I should use one of my breaths because I've maxed out my breaths again. I don't know how long this has been maxed, but I don't think too long. Um, right, getting the dodging. I might get more pull ups because this pull up is going to require a ton of skill, but I do want to get the throwing pretty soon. That's probably the next thing to work on. How much skills does this even need? It's probably like really huge 24. Yeah, I'm never going to get the well, I'm not in a hurry, going to get the skill required to reach mentally on this thing, but I might at least be able to get it down to like one attack delay or something. All right, what's the way down? I think Orc Knights were fine. In fact, I fought um, an Orc Warlord earlier, and that wasn't too bad. How am I resist? I gotta be pretty good with this on. Poison resist is just screwed. I'm missing a resist electric, but I've got basically everything else. Oh, I'm missing willpower as well, but hey. Can't have everything. Well, sometimes you can. Sometimes you get really crazy runs that really just do have everything. That's my, my breath back. Oh, silly, seems silly using it on these guys, but I should make sure I use my breath. I've got to get 100 uses out of it, so... Yeah, gotta use it whenever I can. So I was trying to free thing here, which would be better than what I was using, but not really useful anymore. The rapier and speed, which would be good on my last character. But I think my last character ended up using some sort of rapier and speed in the end. It would have been nice fighting it this early. Alright, what have we got? We've got an invisibility potion, healing potion. I don't know if I'm saving up for anything in light, but I probably could use as well. I was curing. I think I had tons of those, but I can come back for them if I need them. Let's see. Am I saving up for anything? Not really. i just take a look around and see what the nails have for sale. If they have any good jewelry or something, I might go grab that. Otherwise, I'll probably just um go buy 
potions, scrolls, whatever else there is here. Alright. I'm just gonna stand back and use this rage weapon, isn't it? That's fine, I guess I can just keep on stand dancing here. There we go, got it upstairs. Oh, that doesn't work perfectly because there was a there was an old uh in the area that I wanted my blood to form, but I guess that's fine. That's, no, that's not right. That's way too many priests, so I just got to get back to the staircase, otherwise I'm going to get smited to death by all the priests surrounding me. All right. But that's kind of how the orcish mines works. So you just do a lot of retreating back, killing a few things, retreating back. I mean, maybe not if you're a chamber or something, but that's how the majority of characters do the orcish mines. Uh, I've got to kill the actual bat. There we go. Not just this little summons. Because it does summon out the uh, hellhound, which probably isn't too bad. i got one fire resist, I think. All right, what's in here? It's just an armor shop. It's got boots. What are my boots? Because they're the glowing boots. My boots are plus zero, so the boots are probably better. It's the captain's colors. Again, it's a, a thing for my previous character, which is using the short plates. It's a speed uh, rapier, I think. But it also lets you disarm things. And it starts with a decent job and bonus. All right, well, let's get the boots and the potions. I don't think there's anything else to really grab here. All right. Boots of rampaging? I don't mind a bit of rampaging with this character. That's actually pretty useful. Alright, and uh, I think all the other potions were in the same shop. Uh, Lightman, alright. Don't think I need the Berserk Rage, so I'm done there. I can just go to a dungeon level. I did do dungeon level 13, so dungeon level 14, I guess. Oh, you forgot that the cosplay tourney was starting today? Yep, it certainly is, Dr. Dizzy. Or Mr. Dizzy, I mean. No, it started... It didn't start long ago. It started like uh, three or four hours ago. I think four hours ago, almost. Oh, don't confuse me. Hold on, is this a vampire? I do have tons of curing, but like, where is it? It's probably in the center of these plants now, right? Yeah, there we go. Also, I've got my breath back. I should go use that because I gotta use my breath a hundred times. So I should always make sure if it gets up to three breaths that I go use it. Um You were planning on giving the um tournament a try, right? There, Dr. Dizzy, the cosplay tournament. I th I think that uh Roga mentioned that you were gonna give it a try. If I'm not mistaken. Oh. Yeah, let's bring, let's bring this guy around the corner. Cleave it down with my Bardiche. Yeah, this is going to be the entrance to the vaults. I'm surprised that not all these doors popped open at the same time. Oh, you'll probably give it a go. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess you'll be playing the same character I am. Wait, 12? No, 11? Blinking? There's tons of blinking. That's a good thing, because I'll probably need quite a few. Um, oh, I probably should just... Oh, that's not good. Okay, I'm going to bring out some plants. I kind of surrounded here. I think it's probably worth teleporting out here. I actually don't have a lot of teleports. I haven't used that many either. Huh. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's been endless blinking and hardly any teleports, which is not the way that you usually find scrolls, but I guess that's... Definitely randomness for you. I've oh, got my uh got my breath back. I'm gonna use it. Oh, I can't even wear the crystal plate armor, it's fine. Well the crystal plate armor might be alright if I could wear it. Give me a bit more armor class as well. This character's all about dodging, I think, anyway. Alright, once uh I go down to the last level of dungeon. 
And then I got on the side of the land branch. I can't remember what they were. There was Swamp and the Snake Prince. I mean, Snake Prince is probably the one to go to first, honestly. And I've got a bit of fear, right? Because fear can be good in the Snake Prince when you get surrounded by like a guardian serpent does this thing. Uh... I love how you can just swing it, nothing in like the corridors and it kills the unseen horrors because there's only like one direction from you that they can actually be in when you get them stuck in a corridor like that. Ooh, another protection. What am I wearing? Wearing confidence or something. I can't even remember what it was anymore. I can drop the halberd. I can drop the glaive. I can drop a lot of things here. Um, I've got another halberd on me. I've got so many random halberds and stuff. I was wearing confidence 8 strength. Yeah, I'm probably going to keep that one on, honestly. Oh, chat armor can probably do something with that. Are you always buying crystal plate when you can't wear it? Don't want it? Yeah, it's true. You definitely do. Oh, I can chop my hat. I mean, there's not really a lot of mods that this character can enchant up because they don't wear body armor. That's why I did that right now. And unless I get a shield, I probably won't be able to use my other enchant armors. No, I think my last character found uh, Crystal Plate Armor. I can't remember. I think I did put it on at the end. I have a cold resist, right? Although I should use my breath because it's like max out. All right, well, it's dungeon level 15. Yeah, definitely the Snake Prince. I don't think there was anywhere. Oh, there's a little bit of dungeon level 11. The, oh, not that one. Oh, whoops. <sighs> we doubled level 11, not dungeon level 1. No, it was dungeon level 12, was it? Yeah, there was a little bit of this one I hadn't completed because I had really, really tough stuff in it. Like a full-on Yagto encounter, which is crazy for Dungeon Level 12. A Tanju Reaver. Whoa. I don't the plants are helping that much there because it can kind of just shoot through them. I'm going to get more dags. I'm getting dags with this character because it helps with my evasion. But unfortunately, it doesn't help with my damage. What are these guys are guarding it? Nothing good because they're certainly tough enough. They're guarding, oh, boots of flying. I guess I'll pick them up, but I quite like my rampage ones. And they're guarding a lightning rod. Um, I don't need that trying to protect anymore. I think there's better things on offer. Probably don't need the reflection. Don't need the ab. Oh, keep the amnesia. I don't know. I probably don't really need it. I don't need the torment. Actually, no, I'll drop the amnesia. I can come back if I want it. I can probably draw the brand weapon as well, but if I get a demon trident, maybe I'll grab that again. Draw the brilliance. All right, that'll do. At some stage, I need to get a little bit of spellcasting, but I'm going to leave that till quite late in the game, I do believe. It's probably a good idea. I don't want to identify. Just a potion, I guess. Cancellation's good. It's like a marked or something terrible in here. I got two cancellations. I got two mutations. I think there were, were there more mutations for sale? Probably not. I think I bought basically everything that was for sale. That they were for sale. I should have them already. Let's see. Yeah, my shopping list is empty. I've still got 1,200 gold. I don't get so much gold. Like, I got the two requirements, but I didn't take gold on either of the things, did I? Now, I'm pretty sure I took a ring and this uh, weapon that I'm currently using. Oh, what do I get now? I'm not a mid delay. It was something I wanted to get. I wanted to get throwing and I should probably stick to that. Let's get the throwing to like 12 or something. Yeah, because I've got to have some sort of rage attack. Sure, I've got like rampage, so it's not quite as important. And I didn't get the um, spider's nest, so it's not like I'll be fighting um, orb spiders or anything. But it's still definitely worth being able to throw my javelins. See what this potion is as well. Oh, resistance. Um, I don't really reason to be well by resistance, but it's always good to have resistance potions. And a sun scroll, that's not bad for a mage. Not a non mage, I mean. Whoa. I like the look at this type, but I'll just bring out the briar patches. I think it's probably worth it. Actually, well, this first of all, the snake prince was fairly uneventful. I did get teleported, but it didn't put me in the worst spot ever, as it turned out. See those guardians have put snakes to me. Not a lot. I mean, those guys just walked up to me normally. Oh, I need to use my breath. Um, 
There we go. I think it's... Okay, it's just not the best. I've lost about half my health. Try to make it back to the staircase, but it's not quite worked. I might actually have to use a fear here, I think. Hmm. I don't know. I might have been able to make it back, but it was looking kind of sketchy. So, yeah, I'd be fair to definitely guarantee that I'd make it back. Oh, come on. Uh, go upstairs. Don't think there's Vashti around here, but there's enough archers that there certainly could be Vashti around here. But I reckon I would have seen Vashti if she was around here. Uh, Shock's open upstairs. Just worried it could double zap me here. the right thing to do because it probably can double zap me I think I'm going to try a healing potion uh oof it's it can't double zap me anymore there we go got rid of it mm, yeah resist electrical is one of the few resists that I am missing on this character I don't think you could have got double zapped. Oh, right, because it would have, if it zapped that way, it probably would have just bounced, like, um, bounced the other way or something. No, you're probably right. It probably wasn't quite lined up perfectly for a double zap. So I probably didn't need to move, but I probably still needed the healing potion. I don't know. I wish it was, like, an easy way to tell when you were going to get double zapped or not. Um,. <laughs> Fire breath, this guy. Use a use a charge of the fire breath. Hey, it's my first shield I've seen a kite shield, but unfortunately, I'm going two handed this game, so maybe not. Naga Rogers are fairly tough. I'll try sneak up towards it. Oh, it doesn't want to move up to me. I'm probably going to take a step towards it, but I was thinking it would move up to me. I guess it does have all its spells that it can cycle through. Alright, one of these should make it up to me. It's not a bad choke point. I can just kind of keep bringing things through. Well, if they notice me, I can. Uh, this height here, I should, yeah, there we go, be able to bring things into sight. I can do a range of my attacks just by waiting on the spot. Oh, wait, my breaths are fully recharged. Let's go. Use one on that guy. I haven't been using them much for, like, the, like, in situations where they're actually useful. I've just kind of been throwing them out there a lot. Um, I don't actually... Breathe on these guys, see if it does much. Give it accidentally click my inventory. Like, it's so close to the auto explore button, and I don't look at the keyboard or anything when I press the auto explore button. So sometimes it's a little bit random where I end up pressing, but I usually get the right spot. Also, because I'm pressing tabs, like, my hand's going backwards and forwards on the keyboard, so it's not like it's just sitting in one spot. Which is why I often end up hitting the wrong key. Ooh, um, Final Floods are good. I'll probably end up using that in the vaults, because a lot of the uniques in there are ones that you really want to silence up. I don't have Blade Ties, but, um, am I allowed to trade, like, shapeshifting? I'm not sure. I think there's only weapon skills that are rest uh, restricted. Let me just go double check. So maybe? I mean... It kind of almost feels like a weapon skill sometimes training the unarmed. But technically it's, uh, yeah, about pole arms throwing fighting for weapon skills. I guess you could do unarmed to, like, talismans would be pretty silly anyway. Apart from maybe death one. 
Um, well, statue one, I guess you could also use with other things. So you still need to get the magic going at some stage. Use breath a hundred times is what I'm working on, and then the other one's kill Tiamat, which I'm really hoping I get Tiamat, and I don't have to go scumming Pandemonium to try and find um, <laughs> Pearl Dragons or something, because that would be, that'll be annoying if I have to do that. Whoa. Oh. I tried to step back so I could bring some briar patches out, but that's not quite working. I might just do a healing potion. Oh. That did just as much damage to me as I did to the healing. Or maybe I just didn't do much healing, but that's not great. Um I might try some fear. That's a shame, but oh well. Yeah, I was hoping I'd get some Briar Patches in, but I think I really need to do the Briar Patches like a turn or two earlier in order to make that one work. Alright, well, got Spirit Guardian, not very useful. I've, I've got 20 magic points, so it's kind of a bit more health. But I think I'd rather have the regen. It's always seems really nice having a bit of regen. I'm lacking Poison Resist right now. Slowed. There's not many guys left here, but I think I might just try and retreat up. Get my poison re resist back. Oh, oh the Guardian Seven didn't notice. I'm hoping they Guardian Seven no oh knows me soon. It brought his friends. The, the um the Briar Patch is going to be pretty good with the Guardian Servants because it's harder for them to surround you when all the spaces around you have got plants in them already. It doesn't take a huge amount of piety to bring out the plants. Like, I think it takes a little bit, right? Yeah, it just takes a little bit. Same with the glow, grow balustrum, it takes a little bit. But the overgrow is the one that really costs quite a bit. And, um... The balustrum says it costs a bit too. Oh, minus teleport? That's really bad. I constricted it because I tried walking back through my plant, but it didn't work because I was constricted. That is really bad. I might do the fear. Oh, they didn't get affected by the fear, did they? Hmm, I'm still going to try walking back. Okay, I think I'm out of there. That was a shame with the fear, though, but it might have affected them, but it might have been into the end because they couldn't run anywhere or something because they did let go of me. All right, Agnes. Goodbye, Agnes. Let's bring these guys back a little bit. Whoa, who we just bashed here? Here, um, I'll start a teleport before I do anything else. Oh, I got slowed. That was my teleport. Oh no, I'm gonna start another teleport, but. Ouch. I feel like I need to do a blinking, but I don't really have the best line of sight here. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll blink to here. It's not perfect, though. Oh, of course I got uh, sent after me. Man, I think I need another blinking. This is really bad, though. This is very costly. Uh-huh. I, get, uh, I didn't get that far away, but I should be able to get back to the staircase and go heal up and get rid of that slow that I've got on me. I just bring out the briar patches. It might make a little bit of noise to get the guy's attention. I think everything's back under control. I hope everything's back under control. Oh, I don't have the willpower here. Um, but this is the last level. Oh, is that a seven talisman and fire corpses? This is the last level of the snake, but it's why it's got so many creatures on it. But no, it's been a very costly trying to get through this one. Uh, where did Fashnir go anyway? I haven't seen her around. 
smart that she's like lurking back on this level somewhere where she can cause me problems. These guys can't hit with their pull-ups, yeah, when they're kidding through the briar patches. Yeah, she is. Yeah, the archers do just move up, I think, instead of trying to shoot the briar patches, which can be quite useful. I think these guys... Oh, didn't notice me. I was just hoping it would walk up to me. Yeah, I mean, Vashley should just walk up, right? In theory. Oh, she's doing portal projectile? Um... Fine, I'll do a I'll do a bit of fog to pull her in closer. There we go, got rid of her, got the throwing up to twelve. Um I wanna get a little bit more fighting or maybe bring it up to eighteen. I think a little bit more pull ups. I might bring it up to twenty two. I might bring the dodging up to 15. Just try and get the melee stuff going. I think the invocations is fine for now. Even if the Battlestorm is still got a, not a Battlestorm set, the Orclub's still got 8% failure on it. Alright, got the first room, but no, that was a very hard fought for read. I'm glad this game gave me tons of blinking scrolls, because I ended up using quite a few of them in there. What's my other area? The swamp. I guess that's fine. I've got the poison resist, fire resist, coal resist. I mean, those are the ones you need in here. No, the acid resist, which is not ideal. Um, it's kind of put the plants in there to make that uh, the frog have a harder time attacking me. Because I know those can be pretty bad when they corrode you up and stuff. Ah, oh, these guys probably just find their yeah, find their way around to the plants that I put out, unfortunately. Ooh, a march. Um I don't know if I can overgrow it, I think, can I? Oh, I can't overgrow these trees, apparently. Can I give it a try? Get out a few arc lobs, which could be kinda nice. Uh I'll put a balstrom set in there. We'll see what comes along. I mean, there's a Hydra here. I'm getting dragged around, but I think this is going fine. All right, good. I mean, it cost me quite a bit of piety, but that was one way of getting me um, through that situation where I was marked. All right, was well, a way down, I guess. The fire burn is actually kind of nice to bring out the steam in here, but I don't think its damage is huge. Alright, good. I can pull the druid upstairs. Those are always bad because they tend to pull a lot of animals onto screen, and then whether you kill the druid, they like bite them up and stuff. Um, I can see what this potion is. I got oh three haste is not bad. I could probably do the scrolls as well. See what those are. So immolation. I've got the fire resist. So that's not too bad. And noise is probably not so useful. But at least I got some useful stuff. Oh, the statue. Form. How would that compare with my natural armor? Like, it might not be that good. Let's see. I mean, it goes up to 38 armor because it's max, but it's probably around 20 something, 25 or something. Uh, I get 9 natural armor class. Does it actually melt anything? Melts my boots, right? And maybe my gloves. It definitely needs the cloak and hat. Hmm. It's probably not worth going as a dragon that already gets a decent amount of armor. And I think it would probably meld my plus armor mutation. Or would it leave that one? It would probably meld it right. But that seems kind of like a body armor thing. And I know it melts the body armor. Yeah, it probably melts anything in um, body slot. Alright, I guess might potion. Well, <laughs> one might potion. Do I have anything, like, to take this guy out? I've got some boomerangs, right? Ah, oh, it's just gonna... It's gonna blow up in my face because I can't take it out quick enough with the boomerangs. I'm bringing a land over here. Oh, not quite away from the trees. It was almost away from the trees. 
don't... Mm, I think something brings it useless. Wizardry is probably not that good. Although, to be fair, I want the wizardry, like, in the end game to try and get some of my spells below 10% failure. Because I do need that for this challenge, getting a bunch of spells below 10% failure. Probably don't need the positive energy. I don't think I really need that potential either. I'm going to get rid of all those, all those things. All right, well, let's swap level two, done. Oh, I'm not an escape badge. Let's take a proper staircase down. Oh, no joke. And I got the file flood, so right? Uh, charge up. File floods them. Sounds like we're not in the water, but this seems to be going just fine. He's dying quick enough that so he doesn't get his spells back or anything. Uh, nothing to identify. What am I waiting on? Oh, butterflies or something. It's nice having a flaming weapon when you're killing Hydra. Oh, hey, Donald. I'm gonna block him with some plants. Um, oh, I'm not working quite as well as I like because he's using his axe just to cleave them down. Actually, this is kind of bad. I might think I could just take him out while he's no, I can't take him out while he's rooted. Huh. Um, I can blink, but what else can I do? I thought the roots would be enough, but clearly not, because he's still, uh, he's only fairly wounded. But if I blink back, then I'm still going to have to do something to him. I think I do have to, unfortunately, have to blink back. This is not the best. Um, I could get him with the roots again, although he might, he's just in range, right? Oh, he didn't, didn't stick. Oh, no, it's not sticking. He's not poison resist, right? Oh, he is. Why? Play down with poison. It's going to do a scroll of poison or something. Well, that didn't work at all. Um... I might be able to overgrow. Here. Uh... He's still moving kind of fast, which is a bit of a worry. I'm going to try and keep him back. There we go. My plants have got him. Yeah, he was kind of nasty with that plate over poison risk because I couldn't, uh, couldn't poison him up or anything. Hey, Miraglottal. Um, I get Miraglottal's attention. I'm actually going to wait, wait for his creatures to just be upstairs because he got then the mole mutating guy. Um, what do I do against Miroglotto? I might try and root some up, although I might need a bit more skill in the evocations to make that one work very well. That's probably the reason it's not working very well. Let's just get the evocations right now. I might just get like eight of that. Try and get the root spots actually doing something. This guy's not dying as well as I'd like. Um, I think I breathe some fire that. Do I need a willpower rig? Probably. I'm actually kind of lowered the willpower, to be perfectly honest. All right. This character isn't really ready for the vault either, though, because they haven't got the resist electric. So I think you know, sticking in the swamps probably what I've got to do, but it's definitely not feeling easy going through the swamp. Uh, I'll just bring out a few of these briar patches. Wait, why is it go running away? That's kind of weird. You'd think it would try to take the briar patches here instead of just running away, but I guess that makes it pretty easy for me to kill if it's just going to constantly run away. Oh, no. No, uh, I don't want to be paralyzed. Um, it's going to break through that any second now, but I can grow a Brallostroma set in here. Okay. Good. I think everything's dying, and I'm level 17 now, which is great. I 
They say Ghost Scrambles are a bit weaker than some of the ones I fought previously, where I just uh, didn't seem to really be doing sufficient damage to them. Um, ooh, that's not where I want to be. I got pulled in by the Swamp Worm. Um, I guess not a teleport. Let's attack the Hydra because I might be able to get rid of someone's heads. Oh, that teleport didn't go very far. I think I saw another one, but I'm running out of those, unfortunately. Alright, there we go. That actually got me somewhere decent. You know, just putting me straight back into the middle of these creatures. Alright, um, do I need a branding? I don't really need the branding. That's only for um if I get a demon trident, which I think is the plan with this character. Eventually I go with a shield and a demon trident. Although I'm pretty sure I haven't seen a demon trident yet. Alright, let's go down to the last level of the swamp here. It's don't give me any alert there in Hydra, so I'm gonna quickly check for more teleport scrolls. No, I'm down to my last teleport scroll. Um, hmm. Why are these teleports so rare this time round? At least I've still got uh, blinking left. How many blinking do I have left? I've got eight of those because I have had to use a few blinking this game. Okay. I think this is fine. I think I can just keep on fighting with those Briar Patches to delay the Hydra a little bit. Gee, what has this guy got? It's got a Curari. So as I'm behind my Briar Patches, it should be fine. It can't really get to me or anything. Although I want to drop... um. I don't think I'm going to ever use those boots of flying, so I'll just grab the Curari. Uh, what's the chance of the Lone Day and Hydra anyway? I seem to remember being decent chance when you actually get the swamp. Uh, of course, there's not a 100% chance of actually getting the swamp right this only half the time. So hopefully not this time round, because I've got a low on teleports, which I'll probably have to like teleport out if I see a Lone and Hydra, unfortunately. Oh no, it's right next to me. That's actually not good at all. Um Huh. Oh, uh, it's probably probably gonna blink back seeing that's right next to me and I I can't really have that right next to me, unfortunately. Okay, it's gonna take the land, isn't it? So I should be able to just overgrow some of these plants. Oh well, so I could have overgrown a better area. Um Where are the areas they can overgrow? They're somewhere. Can I slow it down with a little bit of roots? That didn't slow it down very much at all. Hey, there we go. Plants took it out. Yeah, it did cost quite a bit of piety, but hey, it did, it did the trick. Getting out the firing squad, and then, I mean, it's all going to be just now, so pretty much nothing is. Excellent, I've got my second rune. It was a, uh, probably less than my expense than my snake one to get. I, uh, did they motor bombs close to a couple of blinking scrolls? All right, well, it's time for the vaults, I guess. Is that all the stuff I came with the dungeon and stuff? Yes, I guess it is. Hmm. Also, I should be using my breath at some stage. And I can easily get marked unless I want to swap some of my rings around. Cold and strength was pretty good in here though. I think I'm keeping that one on. Um I could swap out the potassium one. I'm not sure about that though. Not quite what I want to do. Should be fine with this guy. Got one cold resist, which is all you really need for dealing with those uh, guys that freeze walls. Well, I mean, the second cold resist is nice, but yeah, one's perfectly adequate. Uh, 
Uh, I could put on my... If I wanted to lose a couple of Arbor Class, well, it might be three. I could put on the Reflection. I'll give it a try, see if it's, uh, see if it's worthwhile. But I do see Archers being a problem with this character having no shield. I do have a bit of evasion, bit of Arbor Class, so my defenses are okay. But yeah, this character's kind of completely swung around. They used to be, like, uh, low damage, but kind of tanky. Now they're kind of the opposite of that. I guess he looking at the doll was actually not a bad thing. Uh-oh. That guy recalling was actually a problem. Um, I think I overgrow my way out of here. Yeah, I think it's time to time to leave a bit. Um I think he got his recall off, unfortunately. I didn't quite make it around that quarter time. Uh Do the plants get frozen as well when this guy freezes walls? Quite possibly, yes. 55 health is fine. Alright, I can step back again. Oh. Should walk up to me. There we go. I love how the archers just walk up to me, but I've got the plants instead of trying to shoot the plants. Uh, how's my party going? It's looking kind of sad right now, isn't it? Hmm. I don't know. Don't, don't think there's much I can do about that, really. Yeah, there's a ring of evasion. Got the ring of uh, protection on. No, I can't really put on the ring of evasion right now. I mean, it's kind of competitive with the ring of AC I've got there. So I suppose I technically could put it on if I want to be more um, evasion focused. Oh, okay. Go over to this corridor, I guess, if I marked. Uh, let's bring these guys back. Where do I actually know about it? Actually, they're probably not even following anymore. I'm trying to find like a somewhat decent sized room that I've already explored to bring them back into. Hmm. They're not doing a very good track of keeping a uh, good job of keeping track of me. Every time we go around that corner, it seems to lose track of me. Um, I don't care about the strength because I got a better one. The strength call with this one. Let's go downstairs to level two here. I'm not used to seeing Arachne just hanging out in the vaults, but I guess that's her new home now, isn't it? Oh, I'm not doing a very good job of killing these guys. I might bring out the Bell's drama set. Uh huh. Can Arachne be confused? I mean, presumably so, but it looks like my plant might be focusing on some other guys here. Oh, I'm really badly wounded. I gotta get a little bit of healing in here, but I get kind of low on the healing potions as well. Um, I can put some roots on Arachne. Oh, she blinked out. That doesn't help. Um, I'm almost out of piety. Got a few of my, a little bit of my breath left, I guess, but there's not much of that left. I can maybe get on some more roots, but maybe not. Oh, 50 hit points, that's pretty bad. I'm going to drink a healing potion, but... Oh, it didn't really help much. Uh... She's got a bit of willpower, okay. I don't even have any, uh, I don't really have any other thing, as it turns out. Oh, I think I'm going to blink out of this, but this is not, not great at all. Uh, now I've got her confused, but I think I better get up and get my health. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try to get her confused for quite some time there, but it just was failing. Alright, there she is. Um probably she hasn't noticed me yet. I 
Hey, there we go. She's confused. That oh, she didn't say confused for long. What's she doing? She's just blinking all over the place. There we go. That's better. When I'm just one v oneing her, she's a lot better. Uh... Oh no! It's gonna get us ah. Get us guys in. Oh, this is bad. Um. This guy's mined up. This guy can shoot me. Man, this game has been brutal. I'm gonna have to blink back again. No, this is, uh, because that's absolutely gonna kill me if I stay in there. Did get its mark off. Uh, okay. But I can't get to the staircase, and no one managed to steal the staircase on me either, thankfully. But no, I've, I've lost so many blinking scrolls. Like, I started with, uh, well, I had 11 at one stage when I was doing well, and now I'm down to 5 of them. <laughs> it's better that I use the blink scrolls and die, but it's still not a great situation where I'm just going through the blink scrolls. I just see some sort of fancy ring lying around this level. I do want to check that one out at some stage, but... I don't know, I think there were some creatures guarding it, so I can't, oh, these are the guys that were guarding it. Yes, yeah, so I can't quite get to it just yet, hopefully the guys that are guarding it spread out just a little bit. I think it can paralyze me, which is not great. I just gotta quickly check for like pull ups, see if there's uh anything else you can use. I mean my camera one's a good two handed, but um that's a freezing trident. I'm try I'm thinking of maybe going one handed at some stage pretty soon. You know what, let's just get Shields right now, maybe. I'll get it up to like 15. I think I've got to go one-handed because this two-handed is just not quite working out for me. Oh. Uh. I might finally be able to get the ring. It's a ring for this cold three dags. I don't actually think I need that ring as it turns out. Got the red third for this cold one. Don't think I'd... Ma oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I should probably pick that up because I think I'm just carrying around like a random cold resist ring at the moment so I can swap it out at the very least. Um, with a slightly better one, I guess. Yeah, I've got this one. That's just my backup one for if I go to a place that needs a particularly high amount of cold resist or something. Uh oh. Please don't paralyze me. Um. Yeah, jellyfish can be pretty rough with their paralysis. It doesn't last long, but it can still be enough to mess your day up. I don't think anything's going to come along with this mark. Or maybe a few guys, but I don't think it's going to be a huge deal, right? Yeah, okay. Got through those guys without too many problems. I think my... Wait, let me go quickly take on shields, because poison resist might be my only source I've got on right now. So is there kind of cold resist? What else is giving resist corrosion? That's probably fine if I lose that. Mm. Yeah, so I want to get my poison resist on somewhere else, unfortunately. When I eventually swap to a one-handed weapon, but oh well. So I want to pull these... There we go. Pull them into a little spot where I can hit them with a pole arm. That seems to do the job a lot better. Uh, do I need curing? That's something I've actually got. I might need the silver javelin at some stage. I also think I did find something I got a ton of. There was barely anything left for me to identify. I think I was just missing like a scroll of something or butterflies or something. 
Well, that's vaults two done. Um, this might be silly, but I'm gonna go to the depths for a little while and just see how that goes. Ow. Not well at all. Um, very bad, actually. I gotta get out of here, but how? Um. That's the question. Well, I think I overgrow this wall. Everyone needs these resistances. Um. Ow. No, I'm almost dead. If I blink, does it do the trick? Maybe not. That was a huge mistake going in here. Oh, come on. Okay. 20 health. Can I just go up the staircase? I'm... I did survive. Okay, definitely don't go in there. That was, a, that was a really bad idea. That cost me a blinking scroll. Let's just go back to uh, Vault 3, I guess. That's a coins being counted. Maybe that will sell something that I'm interested in. Uh, I was also saying Roker as well. I don't know. I might just try another staircase because um, I'm trying to get to the coins being counted fairly quickly. So I've got probably got a Revelations. Yeah, I've got one Revelations scroll. I might just go read that one. Uh... So there's some sort of thing down there. It might not be where I'm looking for. That could be where I'm looking for. I reckon there's a good chance that that one's the one I'm looking for. All right. It's very distant. I mean, both of those could be very distant. And they're both vaguely in the same direction at the moment, I think, as well. Yeah, I mean, it's um, now that I've got to decide which one to go with, I think. Oh. It's a miss with this electricity because I got no resist to that one. Distant bell, I mean, that could still be either of these. All right. Oh, how far away did that say it was? Did that say it was a distant bell again? This was just a random shop. Okay, is it not this one, I guess? Um, well, it's pretty obvious where it is then. Uh, bell's nearby. Yeah, it's definitely the one down here. Excellent. So I could probably drop something before I go in. So we're in the repel missile, so which is maybe not a bad idea. I can drop the I don't think I need that fire this. Oh, I probably don't need the wand of flame either. I've got some enchant, I'm okay. I can drop the amnesia, I can drop the noise. Chant weapons for when I get a one-handed weapon. Um that's probably plenty of inventory room. Let's go through this place. Hopefully there's something good in here. So there's an armor shop, not selling anything. Yeah, the evening star brilliance. Unfortunately, I'm only allowed to use pole arms, so that doesn't work for me. Otherwise, it might be um, usable. And there's a uh, Icosane short sword, glowing rapier, runed war axe, runed whip, translucent great sword, mastery dagger. No, there's nothing in here. Well, nothing useful in there, unfortunately. Oh, hey, Beijing uh, Jen. Can I just grow a bell strummer set? Okay, it's turned into a dragon. There we go, they got rid of her. Yeah, having a confused made her do way less damage to me, which was nice. I find that the confusion tends to work all right on bosses, although sometimes uh, you can't get them confused before they absolutely slaughter you. Uh, well, let me just pull these guys around this corner and then do a nice little air effect. That's what ball ups are good at when you're pulling things around the corner like that. So they're like uh, slightly back from you, but you can still hit them with the pole arm. It's really fun. Uh oh. It's like St. Roker and everything in here. 
And it's like, dude, just recalled. There's mod just saying Roker in here. What I want to do is I want to get the I want to get the Bellstrom set going. Oh, same rook is dead anyway. Doesn't need the Bellstrom set to do its thing. Actually, I'm going to get pushed. Yeah, there we go. Got to be very careful here not to get myself blown up because, uh, oh, the plant is not very careful with his targeting it at all. It just kind of throws out the. Like the spores that they land wherever they land. Whoa, okay. <laughs> um, I think these are beginning to split up again. They're no longer Titanic, thankfully. Ooh, Boots of Infinite Rampage? I uh, go with the gold dragon armor. There's a cloak of protection from acid. That cloak might eventually be useful. Do I want the R Infinite Rampage? Ooh, that's sketchy. That's like really sketchy. I don't think I'd go with the fact. Uh... Won't well, put on that cloak just yet, but that cloak, uh, once I get a one handed weapon, I think that cloak is probably the way to go. Yeah, I think this character is way too fragile to be having an infinite rampage. Hey, this is the butterflies. They can probably drop the identifiers now, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like they want to auto pick up again, although I guess the ones I just dropped wouldn't anyway. I just kind of putting out the the um plots there to try and stop this guy marking me. Oh. Whew. That was a that was a torment that a guy hit me with, which did quite a bit of damage. It yeah, like half my health, alright. But it's one that's a torment of the target's willpower, which doesn't generally as bad because usually you have some willpower by this point in the game. Um except I don't. <laughs> Some enchant armor? Uh, I still have nothing to enchant, right? That's just going to have to go on a shield as soon as I find one of those, I think. Well, as soon as I get uh, to get to using a shield, which I'm getting the skill for. I've got like 12 skill. It's a shame because like, when I put on a shield, I'm going to lose some damage. But hey, it's probably worth it. Let's look at my damage. 55, yeah. Because I don't really have an ideal... Uh, One-handed weapon is the problem. All right, let's throw a try for one handed. So I had a tower, no, kite shield, right? I already got a kite shield. So I don't have any tower shields, which is also a bit of a problem. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm putting this one on. So my damage is 55. Let's try on, oh, well, what was they going with the pole? Um, plus four trying. There's a plus five trying to freezing. Is that the one I was going with? Um, is that the best thing I've got? Protection, yeah. I think that was uh, I think it was that one was the one I was going with, unfortunately. Oh. But it feels like it's I'm going to see if this works, but it might not work because it might just be too little damage. Right, let's put this on. So it's uh oh, it's only 28 damage. So yeah, it looks like half my damage. So my attack speed is better, so they've got a, um one and a half times attack speed. Well, maybe not with the shield on, but no, probably about that. Okay, well, I've got some shield value now. I'll see how this goes. So I need to go to... Um, I wasn't finished with Vaults, was I? Nah, Vaults 3. Oh, Vaults 4, I guess. See all the, see all the door of me, but I guess that's fine. That guy, uh, also demon. It's, it's, it's got a demon weapon, but it's got a demon sword instead of demon trident. It's so close to being exactly what I need, but yet yeah, so far away, not not what I need. Uh oh, uh, can I get back to that staircase before this mark? Matters. Uh, I'm not making it back very quickly, but I guess I made it back before the mic mattered. All right, I got my phantom mirror. I really do wonder how many of the um cold breaths I've used. Not the cold breaths, fire breaths I've used. 
because it has to reach 100 by the end of the game. And I've been doing it as, I think, as much as I can, or well, almost as much as I can. I probably could have thrown, like, a couple more. Presumably, it's, like, balanced correctly. Oh, hey, Mara. Have I found any more teleports? No, I have not. Oh, I see. Ugh, might actually go all the way back to the staircase. But there's another demon weapon for me. It's just... Not quite the right one. Um... Oh, did I leave Mara upstairs? That might be fine. I might just be able to kill these dudes and then rest up, although... That does require me to not get Sky's recalled on me. I actually do have the Quicksilver, so I should remember about that. Um, so I can Quicksilver up, guys, when I need to. Okay, well, I think I just leave Mara up there for now. Hopefully that's fine. Hopefully I can find another staircase so I can actually go up somewhere if I need to. How am I resist? I lost the poison resist, right? But everything... Oh, wait. Why did I get a resist? Oh, this trident's resist electric. That's actually kind of nice in here. Yeah, it's worth losing the poison resist for that. Uh, that was another up staircase, right? I might go back to it and try and pull some of these guys up. Oh, whoops, there was one space away from me. Like, it was within range that I could knack it, but it wasn't... Yeah, it wasn't somewhere I could pull upstairs, unfortunately. I can't rampage this guy because it's on the other side of the water, which is going to make that a little bit harder. All right, well, while I might, I'll try head back to the staircase. There we go. What if my breath uh, recharges at the same speed when I've got no charges, when I've got like uh, one charge or three charge or two charges, I mean? Because obviously it's not going to recharge when I've got three charges. I'm kind of curious. I, get, I think it's the same uh, rage, but I'm not 100% sure. Because this is the first recording I've played since the uh, breath rework. Whoa! No, that's not good. I've lost my poison for this, actually. It's been quite noticeable with this guy. I could blink to the other side, right? Another little freezy dude, but that's fine. So that's level four of the vaults. I don't have any willpower. Oh, I don't want to go back to the... Oh, I could get a little bit of willpower if I lost some protection. I mean, I guess it's probably worthwhile. And then I could... Oh, only 18 protection? Mm, oh, well. I gotta head to the Delvin Halls with that, I guess. Oh, because I did like look at the depths. Like, I tried going there for a little while. It was absolutely nasty. That's enough to pull up. Yeah, it's nothing there, unfortunately. It's just, uh, there were so many fire elementals around me, I kind of wanted to split those out for the rest of these guys. I still got my repel missiles on. I'm not sure if that's the right choice or whether I should try putting on... Um, cause there are plenty of missiles in here, right? But I could put on something else instead. I could put on, like, just a cloak of acid resist or something. It's an option. I should probably just get, get more shields. I'd love a bit, bigger shield. Get shields fighting. A polyps I don't need anymore. Although I might even out to 20 because it's kind of messy at the moment. Wait, that wasn't right? No, that was right. I'm going to turn the evocations back on and get that up to a nice deep number as well. Get up to eight. I think this, uh, the single-handed weapon is an improvement over a plus nine flaming bardiche, which is a real shame, because a plus nine flaming bardiche should be good, because it's like the, it's like a really high tier two-handed weapon, so you'd hope it would be good, but it just doesn't feel very good. I was going through way too many blinking scrolls when I was trying to use it, so... Yeah, I don't know. What's my mouse doing? I don't want that one randomly on my screen.
I mean, obviously the damage is way less than what I was doing before, but I don't know, just having a little bit of shield value seems to help. I wish I had a bigger shield though, so I had something to look forward to upgrading to. Are there any... And the Hall of Blades can't have a better weapon for me, can it? Which is a shame. I'm probably going to have to wait till the devs to get a better weapon. Um, But I might actually skip the Hall of Blades because I have trouble against the dancing weapons. And then after I've done the devs and hopefully got a Demon Blade, I can come back to the Hall of Blades and hopefully get some enchant weapon out of it. Well, it's kind of guaranteed to have enchant weapon, I think. A little bug out in here. I don't actually know exactly where. Well, it's probably a shapeshifter as well. So, um, oh, it's probably, yeah, that's it. I imagined. Could be a real bug out. I mean, it was one right there, but I don't know. I still reckon it was probably a shapeshifter because bug outs don't really seem like the, seem like the sort of creature you find in the Elven Halls. Is that weapon? It shouldn't still be asleep. No, there we go. It got woken up, I think, by the lightning that the Zephyr Mancer shot out. Hey, it feels stronger. That's, um, that's decent. I'm going for the mix of, like, strength and dex, and it's kind of an awkward mix of strength and dex. Um, yeah, because I need a little bit of dex for the evasion, but I had to use pole arms, so they use strength, so a little bit of that. Right, let's see if I can get to this whiz, whiz lab that's up here. This guy's definitely a shapeshifter because it started with... Yeah, there we go. It started without its repel missiles on, which is a dead giveaway that those wind drakes are shapeshifters. Because they always start with their repel missiles on the natural ones. Alright, something's going to come around this corner. Uh, I suppose I can just fight my way through all these fire elementals. It's not like they're causing me any health or something fighting all these guys. Man, there's a lot of them though. There we go. Well, the fire mages eventually stood up the front. Oh, being on fire is actually doing too much damage to me. Okay, this is a better choke point because then they probably won't just spawn their fire elementals endlessly. Yeah, there we go. They got rid of the actual mages. So I can now head back to, well, head over to the whiz lab. Uh, guess I'll drop that. Whoops, I dropped the cloak. But what else can I drop before I go in here? I dropped the body. It was good while I had it, but it, yeah, it didn't really age very well. Um, the enchant weapons. What else do I have that I don't really need? Could have some brilliance or something. I've pushed some experience, but I get that one. Well, I could probably just drink that one. Cloud of the inventory space. Yeah, I could definitely just drink that one. All right, well, that was nice. Um, those skills are fine. Get a bit of Dex again. Try and get some evasion. And I'll just go into this whiz lab. It's all oh, this one. Can I even do this one? With statues of the orb of destruction? I don't think I can do this one, unfortunately. That's a shame. Because I don't have a way of uh, taking out the statues effectively. I mean, I can throw boomerangs at them. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should have stuck around. Oh, but I've left already. Yeah, maybe I should have tried with the boomerangs. Well, I do actually have a bit of throwing. I forgot about that. Right, well, I was leaving the Hall of Blades for now because there's no, not going to be a good pole up in there, unfortunately. Well, not a uh, good single-handed pole up for me, anyway. And uh, my uh, weapon's currently an artifact, so um, until I get an actual demon trident, there's no point in getting the enchant weapons. Um, I just got to double check that there's not like a demon trident in here. Those are not demon tridents, all right. I should be saying the uh, treasure vault. This might be it. Those look like some reasonably tough elves. Uh, 
I mean, also the fact that I'm kind of running out of level to explore here. Doesn't look like your average entrance in, but I think it's your entrance in it nonetheless. Guy could banish me. It did not banish me, thankfully. Is there going to be like multiple layers to this area? There might be, because this might just be like an outer layer, and then there's a actual single width area going in or something. It's probably something like this, because this is not not really what I recognize. Yeah, there we go. There's a inner layer. Um. I found one more teleport, but... Uh-oh. Gotta kill that guy, then I gotta drink a healing potion. Okay, so it's gonna come back to life, isn't it? Oh, ow. That's my last healing potion, unfortunately. Uh-huh. Let's slow that guy down a little bit and then try and get out of here. But that's kind of a shame going through my last uh, potion. I'm really surprised how few, like, uh, teleport scrolls I found. But I haven't used that many. I mean, I've used a few, but really not that many. Uh... These elves are just so blasty that they tend to remove all my... Plants. Um, I might just overgrow a few of these guys. I think they're quite as many plants as I want, but I guess it's all right. Gotta be careful of not to get myself blown up here. Um. Okay, so there's a battle axe on the ground. What else is there? There was something else on the ground here. There was a... Uh, oh, Sigatube is a brace they can't wear and a morning star protection they can't use. All right, then. Uh, this is not the best. What can I do here? I can um, I can overgrow this wall, I think. Fortunately, that leaves me to vulnerable to the damnation from that guy. Okay, I think that protects me from the damnation because I think it would have the plant, although it might have the cooldown version. No, oh, it does too. Can I at least breathe some fire on this guy? And I think that will get rid of it. There we go. And that will get rid of his summon as well, so I'm not going to die to the damnation. Uh, oh, there's a robe I can't even... Can't even use. All right. Someone's got scale mail around here, an elf archer. I don't even know where that archer is gone. Kind of working my way around the outside here, picking off the guys I can. Should be able to kill this blade master. I just uh, saw my cows going down a little bit. I was like, mm, is this alright? I think this is alright. Oh, I can see some treasure. There was someone guarding this right. Yep, there's an archer and there's another guy. Um, let's bring these guys around here. I kill the death mage first so it doesn't keep bring the archer back to life or something. Alright. So we've got the uh, boots of allow you to blank. I see manual of stealth. What else have we got? I mean, I can't wear the ice dragon armor. We've got a bunch of books, unfortunately. More body armor. Hey, there's a worm bane. That's a pole up, right? That sounds good. I can. Oh, okay, worm bane's excellent. Hold on, that's definitely a pole up, right? Let's look at that because that's a lance, right? Let's see. Uh, it needs 12 pull up skill. I've got 20. Yeah, it's definitely a pull up. So it gets poison for as far as it's cold with this 3 AC and allows you to slay dragons. What's my damage right now? It's 29. Let's put this on. It's, uh, wait, it's still 20? Oh, 28. Right, so it's not like huge damage until I manage to kill some dragons or something, but it's got some good resistance on it. I think my tag delay was like, yeah, really good. Zero point, um,. Five, so it's good attack delay, so that's effectively a bit more damage. I mean, probably not quite the same as the freeze, but this is still not bad. Uh, 
Gotta go kill that one, I think. There we go. And I'm very much overskilled to be using this. All right, well, how am I resist going? Yeah, bet bet I'm still gonna resist the ladder because that was on my other weapon. Um. Mm, yeah, that's not something I can really get because I feel like I needed that in the depths. Um, yeah, there's just all these little spike walls around. But hey, at least I got one dead there. And another dead, all right. Uh, I want to leave my staircase here. There's so many creatures. Oh, what happened to all these guys? There's a whole bunch of dudes up here, but apparently they don't. Oh, there's the Enchantress. Apparently they didn't come along. I can't wear her uh, fairy dragon scales, but she's got a buckler of protection. Mm, probably not worth it over my shield. Oh, minus teleport? Oh, confused. Right, I see. Let's pull one of these dudes upstairs, I think. All right. Oh, she got me confused again. Um, I gotta do the overgrow. I can't really target it perfectly. Oh. I think my, there we go, my plants are still, are they out of range now or are they still just in range? Try to keep my plants in range because they seem to be doing quite a bit to her. There we go, got her down. So let's go back down here, pull up the next guy. Oh, oh wait, I can't easily back up from that one. Not as easy as I'd like anyway. I'm quite drained right now, but hopefully I can wear that off. Um. Ooh, I think a lightning bolt hit me or something. Uh, I'm pretty badly wounded. What can I do to this guy? I can get over some roots. And I can probably just stab it to death. All oh, the roots didn't last very long. I'm running out of those roots. I'm also basically out of healing right now, so that I can't even buy some more of that. Actually, I should swap my cloak back, shouldn't I? Because I got the repel missiles one, which is not quite as useful in there. So I should get the um, resist acid one or whatever it is. Also, how are my rings right now? I've got the willpower on. I might actually put on a protection instead of a willpower. I know the willpower is good, but like I need the protection. And I've got a, um, one enchant armor here that I can put on. I guess I'll put on the cloak. I need to find myself a better shield. I need to find a tower shield, I think. Yeah, there's none there, but that's fine. Let's go back to the depths, I guess. All right, next guy down with the spaggies. I'm just going to have bucklers. They're not going to have anything bigger than that. Uh, just some armor. Okay, and this is just uh, some spell books. But I might have manuals. Manual throwing. Yeah, manual throwing. Yeah, I think that's worth getting, actually. Got a little bit of throwing, but I haven't really been using it that much. Um, I can throw things, though. All right, well, I'm hoping for some dragons in here. Uh, not just spark whilst, like, actual dragons would be nice. Because then I can chart up my lads here. Like, plus eight is not bad. It's just, it would be nice to get a decent level charm and donage. I think you could usually get up to, like, plus 12 fairly easy with uh, various kinds of dragons. Uh, just plus two shield. What is mine? I was like, go oh, this. Oh, this guy's got a kite shield protection. That might be worth using this guy's shield, I think. Actually, I should get rid of the electric guy. Um, because it gives, what is it? Is it three armor cards to shield of protection? That seems pretty decent. Yeah, and I've already got like a plus one kite shield of cold resist. I think my cold resist is pretty good. So yeah, this seems worthwhile. Um, I could drop the something. Flame is probably something I could drop. I could probably drop the polymorph if I have that as well. I do have that as well. All right. Yeah, let's put on the protection. I don't think I got that on, did I? I've got no shield on right now. 
uh, which is pro probably the worst situation. There we go. Got a lot. So I got a little bit more uh, AC now. I've got just 32 of paint. I've got a lot of stuff for AC. Ooh, a dragon. Hey, look at that. Plus nine worm bait. And the worm bait benefits a lot for the um, enchantment level because it's faster than attacking. I'll throw some more fire breath at these guys. Just make sure I'm using my fire breath. I don't know how many uses I've got out of it, but it doesn't feel like it's approaching 100 yet, which is maybe a bit of a problem. I have been using it almost as much as I can, though, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, dump a morg and check that out at some stage. In fact, you know what? I could do that right now, just to uh, give me an idea of how much progress I've made. I've still got a bet to go in this game. Where's a uh, morg? I presume it's, like, uh, actually balanced fairly well. Oh, I forgot my mouse is struggling right now. Okay. So, oh, ah, light mode. Um, what I'm, I'm trying to search for, it would be, what's it called? I mean, if I just search for, like, breath, would that give it? Ah. Oh, that might have been it. Ah. With the mouse not going very well, it's very hard. I've used it, oh, 66 times total. Okay, that's not too bad. Like, 66 times is... Am I about 66% of the way through a game? I mean, probably. That's still not terrible. Ah, uh, this is kind of terrible, though. I might... Overgrow... Whoa, why did that change window? Why did that change... What on earth? I'm trying to hit enter! Why are you changing window on me, game? Why? Oh, my key finds it are stuffed up for some reason. I don't understand what's going on here. Yeah, I've actually managed to do it with the mouse, but it took me clicking multiple times. Um. How do I get rid of the slow? I might just uh, phantom mirror this guy up. Hey, Bone Dragon's pretty good. That's going to get my enchantment level up as well. Also, this guy looks like he's got some sort of special sword. He's got the Sword of Doom, which is minus cast, but it does do Doom or Doom again? Oh, I don't know what the Doom brand does. Uh, it does something anyway. Hey, Jupicus. Plus to Phantom, bad of digging of feathers a plus, one wonder feathers a plus five door. A minus two on the wiki dungeon level question mark of feathers. A plus six feathers of feathers. An example artifact. A what now? That's a, that's a funny sounding artifact. But hey, I'll take one of those. Um, so, wait, a phantom bad of taking phantoms? I don't know what that means, but I'll take one. Yeah, I'm on plus 10 worm bane now, which is absolutely amazing. How's the run going? It's, um, it's actually kind of recovering now. It was uh, really rough for a little while, but I think since I got the worm bane now and it's getting charged up, I think that's, um, yeah, saved this run. No, because I started, I had like 11 blinking for a while down to 5, which 5 is perfectly fine if I'm not constantly spending them, which I'm not anymore. So I think this run has probably kind of been saved by that. Um, what's that? What's his name? Grum or something? No, it's just a little shooty dude. Oh, yeah, it was just uh, one of these. I thought I saw a hound coming along for a while, but apparently it wasn't a hound. Well, that lads, you have to... What about the exit? I haven't got to use it too much. How about you, Jeepicus? Have you got any runs going? Because uh, this is an attempt at the, like, the challenge... It's a challenge run. It's one of the cosplay challenge runs, because there's a tournament for those at the moment. Um, how's my breath going? I might just use my breath. Just make... Because i got to get to 100 use on that breath. Also, there was something else special I had to do. I had to kill Tiamat was something I was a bit worried about. Oh, I also had to get some spells online at some stage. Um, over a run from weeks ago is still going? You have yet to finish it up? Oh, yeah, just one of those runs you start and then... It's always hard coming back to a run that you started like ages ago. Hey, plus 11. Excellent. At least sometimes I find it that way. Some characters are really easy to resume because they're very simple to play, but a lot of characters are like, how is they even playing this? Why, why did that guy follow me up? Durably summoned. Was it brought in by a Zot Trap? Oh, it was too. 
I see how that is. I should probably go down another staircase one where I'm less likely to pull things over the Zot Trap, I reckon, but they all lead to basically the same spot. Just some with increased chance of Zot Traps. Um... Is guy trying to petrify me or something? Because it might be able to. I think it's actually trying to freeze me, but still. It's not ideal either way. I was thinking it was this bad as time doing fireballs instead of walking onto the Zot Trap because that could have um, started something bad happening to me. Alright, level 22. That's doing pretty well. I gotta look at spells just very quickly, see what fourth level spells I got. Oh, oh, just bumped my microphone by accident. Uh. Alright, so I've got... That's an earth spell. That's a fire spell. I've got earth, fire, hidden ice here somewhere, right? Uh, air. Earth, fire, air. Okay, all the fourth level. They're slightly different schools, though, on their secondary one, which doesn't help. Um, uh, I think ice is going to have to be a fifth level, isn't it? That's fine. Because i, I got to have uh, spells online at the end of the game here of all the different elemental schools as part of the challenge run. Um, and I'm always kind of getting to a point where I can think about those, but I'm just worried that I won't see Tiamat because I got to kill Tiamat as well as part of this challenge run. Or if you don't kill Tiamat, you have to go find a holy dragon, like a pearl dragon, and you only really find those in like Pandemonium and Ziggurats. So hopefully, hopefully, I uh, can find Tiamat. Yeah, slow these other guys down and getting me to me. So this is an ancient ledge. Uh, I'm low on the roots ones. I might just try and head it. Hey, there we go. It didn't even haste up because if it hasted up, I was going to throw a quick tail at it, but I don't need to. Um, I might bring the throwing up to 16. That's definitely worth having. I bring the fighting up to like 22. Chills on 20, which is fine. Oh, dodging needs to go up as well. I bring it up to like 18 or something because I think I'm getting some benefit from the dodging. Oh, there's oh, some dude over here. Hey, Shadow Dragon, this... is that going to charge up my weapon? Yeah, it did. Because once this gets up to a high enough level of enchantment, then uh, things are going to have trouble enchanting it further. Is that an ancient lich or is that something not as bad? I think it might have been an ancient lich because I think it was trying to freeze me. Maybe it was a normal lich, I'm not sure. Normal liches might be able to freeze. Are you gonna look, but good luck? Yep, I might need some good luck. No, I think it's I think it's got going now with this uh, web bait, especially as this gains a charmant bonus, like it's up to 32 damage now. To really make a big difference. Oh, plus 12 might be max from these dragons. Yeah, it is. Okay. That's fine. But that means my enchantment bonus has kind of got uh, caught up. And made up for the fact they got it fairly late on. It's kind of funny how a draconian can use a weapon that's good at slaying dragons. But I, I guess you just had to handle it with care. In fact, if you could use one as a draconian, it, uh, I feel like draconians would value this weapon like highly if they were like living in a draconian society. Because it would be good against other draconians. But still, you'd, uh, you'd have to handle it with care. Hey, it's plus 14 now. Which one of those dragons gave me more bonus to this? I, mean, I guess a fire dragon, maybe? Huh. Because it's based on, like, the head dice of the dragon, I think. It can only chart up to the equalness to the head dice of the dragon. But it's almost max in chart. I think it goes to, like, plus 18 eventually. But that requires, like, a bunch of bone dragons and stuff. Um... Well, there's a thing some of the Rodkodians and Zod can actually do quite a bit as well when you get to that. Got a chant up. I've got a shield, but I want a bigger one. Maybe Vault 5 will give me a bigger shield. I don't know. Oh, uh, Mark doesn't matter. I'm done with this level, right? What level is an electric dragon? I think they had decent hit dice, right? Uh, no, it's uh, still maxed out at plus 14. I see quite a lot of creatures here. Is this okay? Uh... Hmm. 
Might try zapping some of these guys with a lightning rod. See how that goes. Ah, it got rid of his half frost cannon, didn't it? Although I think it has died from the lightning rod. Okay, that's fine. I think, uh, yeah, that looks fine now. Wow, there's way more guys than I thought there would be for a level that was like almost fully explored. I think this is fine. My lack of resist electric has definitely been noticeable though with those guys zapping lightning bolts through me. Oh wait, there was artifacts here? Just armor though. Yeah, okay, never mind. That doesn't work for Draconian. You know, I found lots of uh, artifact armor with this character of various kinds. I don't think most of it was that good. Oh, heal wounds. I do want some of that. I could probably drop my cold resist shield now. All right. Uh, I still pick up I did find. Oh, I think I left on the ground. Good, because I'm pretty sure I'm done with that one. Let's just go downstairs here. Well, down the proper staircase, not to hell. Hopefully, don't have to go to hell. I don't think there's uh, anything for this character to gain in, in hell, right? I've got my breath back. I should go use that. All right. So, what? I'm, I'm probably over 70 uses at least, but yeah, still got like. So I've got just under 30 uses to go on that one. So I've got Zod and I've got... I mean, I can't do the Crypt if I need to throw that in. What else have I got? Uh, I mean, I've got somewhere like Vols 5. I think I could probably get uh, 100 uses. I think that's been fairly, fairly carefully calculated. I mean, the, the number 100 seems fairly arbitrary, but it also might be fairly well calculated. Uh, I can have my javelins here because I've got a little bit of throwing skill. Actually, I'm going to step back once because one of these guys is hitting me with a pole arm as well. I'm not the only guy with a pole arm here. Pull these back one, because otherwise, uh, well, otherwise two of them would end up next to me if I was one forward from where I am now. Uh, I'm just gonna breathe a little for breath on these guys. Just make sure I'm, make sure I'm using that one. That human is shaped into or like an actual human art oh, shaped into. It's turning into bad things now. A basilisk actually is a problem because I don't have any willpower, right? I'm pretty sure I still don't have willpower. Yeah, it's one of the resists I don't have. Um, that and resist electric. Those are the things I need to get to make this character uh more more tough. I mean, if I never get the willpower, it's probably fine, but it's just always bad having the fact that you can suddenly die or suddenly almost die and have to spend a blinky or two to get out and stuff. Wait, I'm already on plus 17 with this weapon. I guess I killed some... Did I kill... I thought I was just killing little dragons, but maybe they were big enough. Huh. I mean, the shadow dragon didn't bring it any higher. Not a surprise, but plus 17 is really good. Still, I get good... Oh, actually, char uh, character dumped. A 20, 28 damage. That's like a 10 more than when I first got it. Actually, that checks out because I would have started at plus 8. So that's uh nine more damage from the enchantment bonus and probably one more for the strength or something. Oh, gold dragons are going to be bringing up to 18, right? Yeah, there we go. Up to 18. Um, that's probably about as high as I'll get it for a long time. All right, well, one more level to the depths to go here. But if you think about it, it's like an extra 50% damage from when I first got it. So this damage is definitely going up pretty well. Also, I got my breath back. I should go use that. Let's use it a couple of times. I know it's not very effective in the case that guy, but... Hey, it doesn't say that I have to use it in a situation where it's effective. It just says I have to use it a hundred times. Uh... Still plus 18, so these draconians are obviously not big enough to bring it up any higher than that. Makes sense. 
can't remember what kind of draconian said the highest hit dice, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, oh there, there's a there's a bone dragon. They should bring it up to plus nineteen. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, plus eighteen. Wait, if it's uh, if the bone dragon brings it up to plus eighteen, that means it's probably maxed out. But like, I vaguely remember the bone dragons being the toughest thing. Hmm. Oh, it's Berserk, of course it is. I like how they have, like, a little regen icon when they go Berserk now, because they didn't used to. Uh, so it wasn't really clear before that they did get the regen from their Trog's hand thing when they went Berserk, but they do. Oh, yeah, plus 18. Um, so, obviously not going to get any higher from killing gold dragons. Not from killing bone dragons, so I think it's maxed out. Does it actually say with this enchantment bonus, like, where it maxed out? It probably doesn't. No, I think you just have to know the hit dice of the various kinds of dragons that you'll come across. Uh, care about the positive energy. Care about the wand of flame. I don't think I've actually got any resist negative, but that's a resist that I often win the game without. Also, I got my breath back. Just make sure I use it. I feel like it's coming back fairly fast at the moment, so I gotta gotta make sure I use it when I can. What am I doing there? I'm just pressing I instead of O, which means I'm inscribing item on the I. Um I think Vols 5 is the next spot to go. Alright. I have five teleports. I guess that's fine. I'll put read a teleport and go down, but I'm rather low on the teleports. Oh, what are these dudes doing in here? That doesn't seem quite right. Anyway, uh, let's do... I want to do a bite. I've got to get two of those. I might do it anyway. So, make sure my entrance of this level is not too bad. Alright. So this is this gets me to the edge of the level, which is exactly what I would be want to be in. I might just um I scooch around the center of the level, but and just kill what I can. I remember this uh dragon's bay, the web bay, whatever it is, being really good in Zot because of all the draconians and dragons that you find in Zot, and they're all like vulnerable to its slay dragon brand. So yeah, so this is a pretty fun lads. Oh. No, it did mark me. I was trying to escape that, but I should have actually done the briar patches. Uh, at least I cancelled it up, but there's still going to be a number of guys coming along that heard that. Actually, let's bring out the plants, make these guys walk up to me instead of me walking up to them, I think. Whoa, it zapped me with some electricity again. Um, I think I just stab it. Can I embrose it up a little bit? Okay. I mean, it doesn't heal me that much, but it got me back a little bit of health, I guess. Uh, okay, I think I, I think I recovered from that mic. I could put on some more willpower, but I need to just use my briar patches more and liberally I think when I'm trying to avoid getting those marks which means I need to be paying very close attention when I see those guys that can mark me let these guys move up to me uh, what have we got we've got the chainmail account where we've got the haste I've got six haste it's a fairly average number of haste but it's not bad I have got decent numbers of other consumables this game, which has been really nice. Yeah, I've got a oh, one resistance, so I'm kinda short on the resistance. Um I have two fire resist though, so I should be fine actually. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter, the game doesn't give me much fire resist if it goes up and gives me a um worm bane that's got fire and cold resist on it. I'm just trying to kill the guy that's stabbing me in the back when I'm fighting these other guys. I 
That's good old Bardiche. I got a plus nine flaming Bardiche if I ever want to go with a Bardiche, which I was using a Bardiche, but I really don't find the two-handed weapons very good. Yeah, like I, I went from using a plus nine Bardiche with some nice resists on it to using just like a freezing trident or something, and the freezing trident felt like an upgrade. Um... <laughs> Not a massively great sign. All right, can I just get out a little barrel of Stroma set? Oh, the Lich Run Invisible. Uh, it's probably in that spot. Punch or something? Yeah, it definitely is. It's going to be slightly frustrating. Oh, wait, can I just Quicksilver and make it visible again? <laughs> I didn't say that way for very long, but I got tons of Quicksilver, so I guess so. Uh Ooh, ow. Got me with some electricity. What do I do now? Um I might just phantom mirror it up to try and speed up this battle just a little bit. There we go. And it also gives me someone I can hide behind when I'm fighting. Although I can hide behind Briar Patches if I need to as well. Though except they don't seem to be that robust at this point in the game. Um Okay, that's almost where I want those skills. Yeah, I'm going to have to start working on the, the spellcasting things very soon. Wait, didn't I have the rune? I guess not. <laughs> um, yeah, that was apparently the real rune. I guess I didn't have it. So those are boots. So what were my boots? They were Rampage, right? Yeah, they were Rampage. Um, also, any sh any good shields? There's got to be a good shield. Come on. There's uh, no more kite shields. No. I mean, I guess I could have charged up a kite shield. It would just be really nice. Uh, I mean, it's a potential one, which is bad. I don't know. It'd just be nice to have a tower shield. Gotta kill the guy that can mark me. I think, oh, that's not it. And maybe there's still a few bolt cards in the center. I haven't actually really explored too close to the center. I mean, I yeah, I've kind of just explored around the outside. So maybe when I get to the center, I'll find something. Hopefully, I don't know. I'm really not uh, not too confident. I might drop the curari. Hmm. It's decent, but I don't know if there's anyone that's left that can really be affected by that one. It's got the plus eleven rapier of holy and wrath. Resist the light, resist fire, resist uh, cold. If, um, I mean, that could be decent on some characters, like if you were a quick blade. Well, I guess a Rafe of Holy Rats is all right if you're like a short blades character. It's definitely got some really nice resist on it. I don't know how that would compare if you already had like a quick blade of Holy Wrath, though. Got the potential already, I think. I'm pretty sure one of the rings have where he's potential. I'm trying to find like a ring of resist electric or something. Oh, what's up with these guys? Podly mob? That's not ideal. Guess it didn't use this poly mob though, so I'm okay. Uh I just limit how many of these guys can get next to me just by the by using my plants there. Oh, this is not going massively well. Can I go uh I grow some plants there? Oh, that revealed more guys. That was probably not a good idea, was it? Um I just back up a little bit. Oh, that's not quite working. Um, what do I do here? I guess if I just back up a little bit more. 
Oh, except that dude temporarily turned into a moth of wrath, which is a bit awkward. No, I think I actually started teleport. I, I've got, uh, I mean, five of those should be fine. I mean, there's actually another one here that, yeah, I mean, that one brings me back up to five, doesn't it? Because uh, Zod isn't going to need a lot of those because the teleports are really slow in Zod, so you don't have to use them that much. Um, I do want my condenser vein here. I could probably drop... I don't even know what I picked up. Charm weapon, that would be something I could drop because uh, my plus 18 worm bane definitely can't be enchanted any further. I don't see myself ever switching away from this. Just a little shield, come on. There's got to be a dude with a bigger shield than that. It's got to be. Oh, it's another little shield. Let me quickly check for shields again, but I don't think I've seen anything. No, it's just uh, little shields all around, isn't it? Fine, I'll protect my little... Uh, I'll enchant my little shield. I gotta do it. I gotta protect, uh, enchant something. Otherwise, they're gonna have trouble, aren't they? Um, I better start working on these spells. So I need fourth level or higher. That one's Earth, Conjuration Earth, right? Conjuration Fire. There's also Fire Alchemy. More Fire Alchemy, okay. Um, Air, oh, it's Air Summoning. Conjuration Air, that's fifth level though. What's better, a fourth level Conjuration, no, uh, Summoning Air or a fifth level Conjuration Air? Because I've got to be getting Conjuration already. Um, start with the Conjuration Earth one. All right. Fire alchemy or fire summoning? Did I have another summoning one? Air summoning. Right, so I might get the fire summoning, which is the blaze heart golem. Okay, so there was an air summoning here somewhere. Lightning Spire, alright. What element am I missing here? It looks like I'm missing cold, so I gotta get a cold spell. And they all have to be different spells as well. First reference is only third level, it needs to be fourth level or fifth level. Um, might have to be fifth level. Is there even a fourth level ice spell? Because ice beast is like third level now, they might not be. Hot Frost Candidate is ice alchemy. Huh. Alright, well. I don't have a lot of choices, so yeah, sure, I'll get it. I mean, I could have got an alchemy with another thing. Do I have a fire alchemy? Let me go check on that. I might be able to make that work instead. Um, a conjuration fire. I do have a fire alchemy. Okay, I got a fire alchemy here as well. But the summoning was on air as well, wasn't it? What other air spells do I have? Man, I'm just trying to, like, reduce how many skills I have to get, but I, um... Now these are really air, are they? Now let's go all the way up to Night Jolt, which is Conjuration Air. <sighs> so I might have to get somebody alchemy and Conjuration? Sure. Sure, let's do that. So, Conjuration, I'll try... Try the first, like, five points. Summoning, I was going for, like, five points. Alchemy, I was going for, like, five points. And then all these elemental ones, I guess I'm also going for, like, five points. I'm hoping that's enough, because I'll probably swap on a ring of wizardry at the end. Um, or intelligence, or something along those lines to get, because i got to get them to less than 10%. Alright, well, um, I guess it's time for Zot now. I'm really hoping for Tiamat, otherwise I will be doing a very long-winded game. Do I have the magic map? We've got three revelations. I might not uh, use on the first one.
Can I just stop this guy being invisible? Can you just not be invisible, guy? Oh, apparently not. Uh, there we go. Why does wait off this corroded? But it's not too bad that I'm corroded. All right, I'm gonna quickly do another character dump and just check. Like, um, eventually get there with us. With the mouse wants to do this thing, just check like how many of the what was that? It was yeah, breath that one. I've done eighty two times. So I've got to do another, what, 18 breath uses? Oh, am I poison resist? Yes, I'm not resist, resist electric, though. That's not too bad. Like, 18 uses sounds doable to me while going through Zot. Soon should notice me any second now. Oh, there's model of them? Hmm. Shock servants, that's not right. I have no resist electric, but I think this is fine. Okay, too good to move closer to me. There we go. Oh, there's something here. It's probably ghost moth. It's straight away magic. Yeah, it is. it's 100% ghost moth. Uh, there we go. What about the way dragon slaying works on simulacrum dragons? Don't know. Oh yeah, that's Josephina. Oh, oh, what? Oh, come on. Why is the Microsoft thingy popping up? I, I really don't know what's going on today with my uh, my keyboard and mouse. They're really malfunctioning in every single way. I don't know if it's just negative, right? Can I get some of that? No. All right. Well, I might just uh, might just overgrow some of these walls. Well, this is the guy's on the other side. That's very suboptimal. Um... I didn't realize I was overgrowing to some dudes. That was a bad idea. I'm going to overgrow these walls. Uh, can I just throw a javelin at this guy? There we go. And I can probably throw a javelin through these guys as well. That seems to be doing something. Um... Ow. How do I get a resist negative? <sighs> Bring the ring. I could probably just kill, kill these guys with a couple of javelins. I'm just worried about taking negative energy damage. Alright, um, we've got 80 health. This is... No, I can't really survive the um, irradiate very well. I might actually berserk up. Give me a little bit more health. So I've got 100 health now. Unfortunately, these dudes have irradiated as well. Contaminated 100 health. I think I can get back to the staircase out of here. All right. Well, Josephine, if I definitely big question. Well, it's sort of the reason why it sometimes makes sense to bring one resist negative just for that fight. I mean, generally, it doesn't make any sense to really have any resist negative on you. Because it's just not that important. But sometimes it does for Josephine. I don't know some of the early uniques you can need it as well. Um, but you don't always have that by then. I keep getting electrocuted, but that's probably fine. Let's just uh, go around this corner. How's my evasion going? 25? I mean, I've traded up a bit. I'm trading up just a little bit more as well. How are these skills going? They're still like 80%. Oh, the whole first candidate is going to be worse. That's ice alchemy. Okay. Well, I might just do a little bit more of the ice. I might just get the ice to like... Wait, is that ice? That's air. Uh, where's the ice? Might bring the ice up to like 10 i the old could be up to like 10 as well. I'll have to find you those ones later on, but hopefully they get to the point where I can do my skills. Well, do my spells. Good thing about recording as well, uh, is that you have natural armor instead of wearing like heavy armor, so your spellcasting's not impeded. Oh. 
I should do a breath on this guy. Yeah, the breath is definitely better against big groups of creatures when you get to breathe on all of them. Ooh, hey, it's got a tower shield. Is it too late for that, or can I grab it? I've already enchanted my shield, unfortunately. So it's a little bit late, but it is a shield. I might be able to, might be able to make use of it. So it's unfortunately a nothing special shield. Let me go look at it, see how much shield value it says I gain. Shield would increase by, oh, two. Nah. Not even worth it. I mean, if I had to have, um, if I had to have not used those enchant shields by now, it would be worth it, but oh well. It mean, probably would be. It still would hurt my attack delay slightly. Although probably not much because I think I stopped at about 20 shield value, which is usually pretty good for a tower shield. Minus teleport. Mm, it's probably all right, but it does also mean you can't blink. So if you get into a bad situation with minus teleport, it can be really bad situation. Okay, that's clown. Oh. I don't like this, mic. I barely explore this level. We're gonna cancel it up. There's moth here. Oh no, there's way too many guys here. Um Where's my digging? Breathe on these guys. They are kind of lined up for it. Didn't quite take them all out, unfortunately. I could also do a condenser vein on these guys. 130 health, okay. As a, a Lanzian guy. Alright. Still got health, but I'm getting a little contaminated. I hope it doesn't irradiate me again. Or turn into the guys that can irradiate when it dies. It's gonna turn into a Goliath frog. Alright, I see. And at least they'll walk into my clouds that I've got nice and lined up there. I'm on level 2 of Zod. Still no Tiamat. I think Tiamat can appear on any level of Zod. But the deeper I get, the less chance I've got of... Seeing tier back because I got less level less levels to go. Oh, gloves of decks. Hold up. Oh, gloves of howling. But it's plus six decks, so like maybe. Only plus zero gloves, so I lose two armor gloves, but I, I kinda wanna try this on. I don't need that random brig of ice and stuff that I picked up. So I got 25 vision, 22 shield, 33 armor class. Okay, I lose a couple of armor class. Um, gain four evasion, gain one shield value. I'm a little bit less at good at throwing. I think that's probably worth it for the defenses that I gain out of that. I'd also get a little bit of accuracy, although this weapon is going to be pretty accurate already, being plus 18. Right, well, it's dungeon, uh, not dungeon, it's not level three. Still no tier match. Come on, tier match. Do not disappoint me, tier match. I mean, you can theoretically get Tiamat all the way on the Zod 5, but it's less likely because I don't think they... Or maybe they can appear in the Lung Chambers. Maybe it's not less likely, but I don't feel like it's happened very often, so I feel like it is less likely. Um. Also, I should probably be magic mapping out some of these flaws. Uh, yeah. I don't detect any Tiamats, unfortunately. Well, that's not it. I was trying to do my breath attack on this guy, but apparently I just threw away one of my javelins. Right, I guess the javelin still did some damage to it, so it wasn't bad. I'm gonna get slowed. I think I can kill this guy reasonably fast. Oh, I did get slowed. I'm gonna breathe on these guys again.
Oh, it's an electric golem. How good am I against those ones? In theory, I'm not massively great, but I guess I can sometimes dodge their electricity. Oh, it's, a, it's a, one of these things they call a curse toy. So I'm going to lignify up so it doesn't torment me anymore. It's throw javelins, I guess. Until it finally gets in range. Wait, does blood turn friendly because I'm with uh, Phantoms? That's kind of funny. They're my bloods now. Yeah, it just keeps on bringing like, in friendly bloods. It's hilarious. All right, please be Tiamat. Please be Tiamat. I mean, there's, uh, there's always Draconians in here, so it's sometimes hard to pick up on where Tiamat is because she always comes with, like, uh, an escort of Draconians, but that doesn't really help you know if she's there or not. I don't know why I pulled this guy out of the um, lava because it's... Oh, hey! Hey, look at that! It's Tiamat! Yes, okay. Okay, it's Tiamat. That's, that's excellent. Um, let me just back up, though. But Tiamat is exactly what I want to see. Because I have to kill Tiamat. That's amazing. Okay. I'm so excited. All right. Let's go. Let's go back to the staircase, though. <laughs> um. Hmm. That's obviously the wrong way. I think Tiamat might have fallen behind and stopped following me, so I could probably find some, fight some of these guys. Is that damage from a... That was for a Quicksilver Breath, right? Oh, ow. Whew. These guys are heading hard. Um, I animate some of these plants. Can I drink a healing potion? I've only got one healing potion. I might have to drink it, but that kind of hurt. All right. So I'm just kind of growing these plants because I don't know what else to do here. Uh, under 80 health, okay. Where's my digging, like actual digging one? Um, right, and I'm going to do another one, but uh, no, I might leave my plants in here. Oh, they're not fighting very well. I'm hoping this gives me a little bit of a chance to bros you up or something, because I'm feeling a little wounded right now. Alright, well, if the mushroom is dead, something's going to come around, so I'll just drink a curing. Oh, oh, nothing's going to come around? Guess I lost track of me and got distracted by all my mushrooms, thankfully. I won't get marked there, so I'm just going to go around this conveniently close corner, because I don't think there's really much other way of me preventing a mark. It's a moth of wrath. I know it's around here. Could just throw a boomerang at us or something, I suppose, but anyway. Right, well, at some stage I'm going to fight Tiamat again, but at least I know that, like, Tiamat's on this level, so that's exciting, at least. Um, whoa. I think this is fine, but these guys can both kind of smite attack me, which, uh, yeah, it's definitely going through my health rather fast. Should also pull this guy around in circles, I think. Just to try and get a little bit of health or maybe even lose track of it. Whoa, okay. That's Tiamat's army. At least I'm close to the staircase this time around, so I should just be able to go... Back up a little. I could probably bring some of the creatures up with me. Yeah, because that's the thing with Tiamat. You've got to separate her from her army, otherwise she's just too tough. All right, it's me versus Tiamat. Excellent. I kind of hidden behind Tiamat here, but anyway. I might... Where are Bell's drama set? Oh, it confused me. Ah, it confused me again. I thought by stepping back there, I might avoid the confusion, but that's better. Actually, I can just keep on attacking her. 
Because I got a pole arm too. She's not the only one with it. Wait, does she have a pole arm? She usually has a pole arm, right? She's got a glaive, yeah. Do I need a cloak? I've got the acid for this one. I don't know. Hey, there we go. Tiamat's dead. That's one of the things we're going to do. Let me look at these spells. So the spells are going to get to down to 10% or better. Um, oh, that's not it. Where's the... Hold on. I just tried to go to... I might draw... I might close some of these dubs because they were just... Oh, come on. I hate my mouse not working properly. Ah. Uh, try to collect these. I've got so many, like, character dubs open right now. <sighs> come on, mouse. Come on. You got this. <sighs> oh, what's... No! I accidentally opened the one for... Uh, closed the one for the cosplay challenge. I think I've still got that one around here. Like, you go open it back up. Alright, there we go. So, okay, so I'm only training the pole arms throwing fighting for weapon skills. That's true. I need to get my uh, fire, ice, earth, air skills 10% failure. I haven't done that one yet. Use your breath 100 times. I'm getting close on that one. Reached uh, XL7 or dungeon level 7. I did that. Kill Tiamat. I did that. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, so it's just getting these spells going right now, I believe. There's a thing that I've got to do. Um... I'm actually kind of tempted to put on Tiamat's cloak. It's two more armor because I lose my own assassin. I'm going to try it on. I don't know. Now nah, I might go back to the resist assassin's one. I think it's important to have that. All right, well, done exploring with that level, but this is the level that I'm actually on. I mean, there's a bunch of acid probably be out before just after I said, uh, nope. I guess I'll bring two of these guys up. I think they both got Crystal Spear. I've got a uh, Vile Floods if I need to. Pull that out as a backup or something to fit, uh, stop them casting their spells. Like they decide to hit me with a Crystal Spear or something. Hey, level 25. Alright, I'm doing decently with my level. I'll probably get to at least to a level 26. I'm not sure if I'll reach max level or not with this character. Alright, how, how are the spells going? I mean, these are... <sighs> Let me just go get a couple of wizardry rings, see if I can get these down 10% fairly when I have the wizardries on. Alright, so I've got the... I've got the strength when i got the protection one. I'm just going to like temporarily swap and see how the chances look. 90%, 40%, okay. I mean, there's a bit of work that he's doing on those. I can go grab my other wizardry. I might be able to put on both wizardries. I might be able to take off my shield as well before I um, leave. <laughs> I mean, it kind of feels a little bit like uh, cheating, but it's, uh, it's what you got to do sometimes. All right, so if I put on the wizardry, put on the other wizardry, now nah, still 13% to 30%. Right, so they're going to work really hard on that uh, horse frost cannonade one. Um... Yeah, okay, I'll be mean, taking out the shield, might get the other ones close, but I'm not sure. Uh, I still got a couple of levels here to go on the bolts, so that's not too bad. Right, but I might bring these all up to like 8, I guess. Conjurations. 8 on the summoning. Alchemy is still going up. Uh, Fire magic, I think I'll bring up to 8 as well. Yeah, 8 on the air magic, 8 on the earth magic. That should be enough of those, and then I'll just have to think about my 5th level spell from there. How does that with this dude? Distortion, yeah. Uh, at this point in the game, distortion is not quite as scary as it used to be. If I got sent to the abyss, I should be able to survive. Uh... Am I going down the staircase? Apparently not. Also, I've got the... Uh, where is it? No! Did I... Wait, you feel oddly... Oh, okay, that's fine. I thought I accidentally drank a potion there, but I accidentally swapped my cloak. That's fine. I was worried I'd wasted a resistance potion, but no, good. Uh, thankfully not. Got two magic mappings and two levels to do, so it makes sense to use the magic mappings. And I won't, thankfully, won't have to go to Pandemonium with this character, because I did get Tiamat. 
What's this invisible guy? Is this dude with the distortion? No, it's Ghost Moth. Alright. Uh, can actually take this way. Yeah, because I know that's not going to go anywhere because those are like non diggable walls, so obviously there's no way for that to lead. Okay. A breath plus, I should think about using one of those soon. I have to dump it on that guy. There we go. You know, down to just one charge of the breath remaining. No, it seems like perfectly, almost perfectly timed to get to 100 uh, breaths. I think I should be... Wow. I think I should be able to do it easily. Oh, hold up. I gotta make this guy invisible. <sighs> Gotta strip off his haste. I'll make it visible again. Okay, and I think I killed it. Oh, no, 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 that's really bad. Um, How did I get blinked into here? Is there a dispersal trap or... Was there a shifter? I actually don't see what blinked me into here. Um, I think it was the electric golem, was it? It had blinked itself. Might have been a shifter there somewhere. Um, I can't sit around here. I'll die if I stay around here. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to blink back. At least I got six blinking, but yeah, I think I'm going to blink back this way. Okay, so... Black Draconian. Um... Or digging into this way. Oh, whoops, I dug into an area that I had explored. Uh, what do I do now? Uh, I just overgrow this area. Swing at whatever's out here. Good, I killed something. That somewhere where this guy can double zap me. I think the safe thing to do is just uh dig this way. There we go. Now it definitely can't double zap me. But I still don't have the resist electric. I'm never really going to get it with this character, I don't think. Right, well, that did cost a blinking, but at least I survived that. There's a, there's a willpower. I've got the resist corrosion on. Um, I mean, he is it's fine. Can I just bring this dude back a little? I don't think he's even noticed me yet. Yeah, because I just want to bring it round this corner. Those mushrooms will be friendly, it's fine. And I can lignify. Yeah, it can't really do a lot to me, because his mushrooms are friendly, and it can't torment me while I'm in, uh... Not statue form, what is tree form? Spells are making progress. I don't I don't know how that will be with the wizardry on it. Some say they're gonna have to uh, once I've got a clan level, it might be worth checking those chances. Actually, I think once these skills reach their limit, it's worth checking those chances, make sure they're good enough. Um There's a boss of wrath here. Hold on. I gotta use my breath, I think. There we go. I might use another one of my breaths because I got some more. Dragon's Berserk, but that's probably fine. Although, this guy's Berserk as well.
All right, I'm back. What was I doing? So there's a berserk tactical monstrosity here. Oh, I'm not on this window. Um, I could mirror it up. That might help. I might mirror it up. Oh, I don't know where my mirror ended up. It's probably not too bad. Um, I think I just got to kind of fight it. Oh, I'm just worried about... Oh, that dragon's kind of annoying. Wait, did I not mirror it because I had no space? You know what I might do? I might just overgrow out to this area and think, Hey, your bag takes the gems that right. All right. Yep, this is, uh, character's still alive. So I think this is probably the character you saw. I don't think I've had, uh... I don't think I've had too many attempts at this challenge. So that's, uh... Yeah, so they're doing well. They've got a, um, worm bane now. And that's making a huge difference. Because there's so many Draconians and Zod, obviously, and it's really nice having the worm bane to fight those. Kill Tiamat? I did kill Tiamat, uh, Kamsi Kamsi Samurai, which was absolutely excellent, so I don't have to try and find a pole dragon or something ridiculous like that. No, this character's basically gone really well. Okay, well, I'm down to the last level Zod. I'm down a little bit of my party, but oh well. I've got one more Revelations, which works out perfectly. Yeah, there was a, there will definitely be times that have been really tough for this character, but things are going a lot better now. What do I have to fight all the fire? I've got two fire resist. I probably got some haste potions. I got six haste potions. That doesn't sound too bad. I'll just, um, I'll just step here. I'll see. Moth and Rath's surely gonna notice me soon, right? Yeah, they're. Oh. It was there for a second. When it gets back there, I'm going to throw a javelin at it. If it gets back inside, I'm going to throw a javelin at it. Oh, there it is. I mean, it probably doesn't matter too much anymore. There's not too many guys left here. I mean, it's already said the Draconian Berserk. But, yeah, well. Oh, you uh, took some time to learn an editing program, making short clips through a podcast? Media management and things. Yeah, what sort of editing program are you using? Because I'm, I'm not really good at like the editing things. I just kind of... If I have to edit something, I just kind of cut it together. And I think it's Shotcut I'm using. It's not really a very good editing program, but it was free. So, hey, it does something. I was 50 damage plus heavy. What is this guy? Oh... Othrex Ghost, a legendary Coglin Hunter of Hiplia Guana. That's only a fun combo. I would definitely play one of those. In fact, I might have played that combo before, actually. <laughs> I've definitely played a Coglin Hunter before, but I might have even done one of Hiplia Guana. It's more than likely. Oh, what on earth? Ah. Something's really wrong with like my keyboard and mouse right now, and I have no idea what's wrong with them. Oh, you used Davinsky Resolve. I've heard of that one as well. Oh, there's a lot to take in, but you figured it out how to count little clips. Yep. No, at least, uh, yeah, I've definitely heard of that one. I should maybe look into uh, using it myself or, I don't know, shortcut kind of works for what I do. Oh, there's a love trap that side and lots of dispersal. Okay. I'm not going to take either of those sides, I don't think. Well, um, I might do this one, but I'm going to do it from here. Nah, I might do it from here. It will cost piety, but I think it's worth it. I want to get blown up here. Because <laughs> that would uh, avoid me having to step into a... Dis uh, a net trap and lose all my evasion and shield. Well, half my evasion and all my shield, I think. Hey, you do what now? How's it going? You know, I've come right at the end of this challenge run, but it's going well. I got Wormbane, which is amazing. So it looks like this is said to be a win, but oh, that looks scary. I might just step back. We'll still have to see how things go here, how they play out in Zot. So I gotta check at some stage how often I've used my breath um, before I get a win, because I might have to do a tiny bit of crypt. I don't think so, though. Ooh. I should actually enlighten myself here, shouldn't I? Where's my enlightenment? I've got six of those. That's pretty good. Oh, you're doing good? Great. Yup. Uh, oh, Caco Demon? Come on. 
made this game visible, I think. Unfortunately, one bait doesn't do any extra damage to it, but oh well. There's an orb of fire. Um, I think I haste up. Do I have silver javelins? No, I just have the regular ones, don't I? Now oh, I don't even know where to teleport it. Oh, there's a spousal trap here. Yeah, no, oh, hold on. Where's my fog? Okay. Well, there's going to be an orb. I don't know where the orb of fire is, which is a shame because I've already put on my haste. Um, I'll probably beat it again, but then by then my haste will probably have worn off. Oh, oh no, there it is. It's the same one I can tell because it's wounded. Where's my willpower? I don't think I'll put on the might right now, but actually no, I will. I will put on the might right now. There's a lot of things with this dreadlitch and an orb of fire. I get the ancient lich's attention. I hate that dispersal trap. It's so nasty. Oh, do I have willpower? I do have willpower. Thank goodness. Oh, it's still going to petrify me, though. I have to cancel that. I'll lose my buffs, but I, it's, it's worth it. Because that one could absolutely slaughter me if I got petrified, unfortunately. Even without other creatures around. Alright, let's go back into the last little area here. What's my title? Slayer? I'm probably just going to end with that one. Unfortunately, probably not going to be able to grab a unique title, but that's kind of... That's kind of what happens with these challenge runs there. Uh, is that a genetic defects in us though? They're kind of a bit too difficult to go for both titles and other stuff. Um, I'm losing health here. I might do a might. I don't really have health potions. I've hastened and mited. Not as much else I can do. It's minus fire resistance. Hold on. This is not working. Uh, pull these upstairs, but then... Why is this going to take a... Oh, to the thing anyway. I might just overgrow one of these walls. Ow. I don't have a lot of healing. I'm just really worried about that. Um, Drink the resistance potion. My plants will kill this one, but I might just have to drink curing and hope for the best. Ow. Wait, can I? I can't make any more plants, unfortunately. Uh... Um, I can definitely blink out of here, but then what? <sighs> I wasn't expecting this all fire to mess me up this bad. I'll be honest. The Berserk's not going to quite cut it. I don't think. Seventy health is okay. I've got the two fire resist right now. Yeah, because the cloud hit me with the minus fire resist, which is bad timing. I mean, that took most of my resources to get through, but I did get through that in the end. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll make it to the side. All right. Well, I'll get my javelins back. Ooh. I might get rid of the genetic defects now before I turn into anything too bad, because I've still got eight potions of mutation, so... Oh, robust! Matt, Pimralby, and Tenno? Wait, oh, because i got a large head stopping me wearing that, um... Oh no, my spells are hard to cast. Uh, that's bad, because i got to get some spells down to 10% failure by the end of the game. I mean, it's at the moment, it's fine. I hey, stop. One of these guys should follow me. Yeah, like this all the fire. Okay. Oh, I should actually use my breath on this guy as well. 
I mean, it's not going to affect the open fire, but. Is there anything else I could do? Do I have like a ring that gets more fire this? I don't think I do. Right, so I'm hoping we haste it up is enough here, but it's not doing that much. Battlestorm said I don't think it actually works very well in open fire. Neither does. Neither do most of these things. Roots don't work. Quicksilver does a little bit, but doesn't do that much. Um, do I have any bite left? I think I'm out of bite. I think I actually berserk up. Yeah, look at that. It's doing so much more because I get extra bonus damage while berserk. Um, and my weapon attacks fast, so those things add together really well. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to berserk up some fire, which is a little awkward. But it's just how things are going to have to be. I hope this is one of the ones like 10 orbs of fire or something. Uh, hopefully it won't be. Carefully exploring. So as not to attract multiple things at once. Oh, this is a spousal trap. It took me the right way, though. It took me away from the creatures instead of uh, dispersing me further in, because dispersing me further in could be a problem. Oh, ah, what's going on there with that random shortcut that's getting triggered? I feel like a key on my keyboard might be stuck down or something. Something weird is going on. Alright, this should be fine, even if I am surrounded by them, so long as not too much other stuff comes along. Oh, there's a little antenna here letting me detect creatures, although it's very, very short range, because they're the first level of the antenna. Tis, hold up. I need to quickly do a character dub, and I need to check how many times I've used my breath. In fact, I've got a couple of breaths there. Um... A hundred times. Look at that. Perfect. Because I have to use it a hundred times or more. So, um, yeah, that's perfect. Let me just double check. That's not the right screen. This is the right screen. Use your breath at least a hundred times. Okay, well, I can take that one off because it says a uh, hundred uses. Oh, the combustion breath. Excellent. So there's nothing stopping me just grabbing the orb and getting out of here, right? But let me just... Let me just check how castable my spells are, because I gotta have the spells castable as well. Um Where's my other wizardry? Oh no, it's twenty uh the whole frost candidate is twenty one percent. It's ice alchemy. Um Where's my shield? Ah, 16%. Okay, so I can't win just yet. I gotta get that, um... Yeah, to get that one more castable, unfortunately. Did I put on a ring? I guess I did. And my other ring was protection, I think, that I usually wear. Right, well, I'll go to do a little tiny bit of Crypt, I think. And just try and get that down to 10% failure. Although it would be hard to tell exactly what it was. Ooh, I fell a level. Um, I don't have any magic mapping either. Because <laughs> I used my last one of those on Zot. And this character, is, this character is so close, but I'm still kind of worried. Okay, I've still, I've still, I've still got a few haste potions, right? I got three haste potions. And I got five blinking scrolls, which is always nice, at least. Uh, I got, oh, I got five butterflies as well, which could be, definitely be helpful for getting things away from me when I want to go up staircases and stuff. Well, it's a weird feeling not doing crypt, uh, for, like, a title, doing it for other reasons. Doing it to actually get a spell castable for a challenge run. Man, these guys are definitely a lot more robust than draconians when I'm not doing my extra 75% damage or whatever I do to draconians with, the. Uh, Brand of this also. I'll just throw in a couple more of my breaths just to make sure that's over a hundred. 
Oh, do you have to? Do you have a fourth level ice spell? I don't think so. I mean, I should actually check. Do fourth level ice spells even exist? <laughs> Is another question. Um, oh, there's freezing cloud. There's fifth level conjuration ice air. I don't know if they exist anymore, honestly. Uh, why does fire storm show up when I search for ice? This is not massively helpful. Throw ice skill? That sounds like a monster thing. Hey, it's fourth level. <laughs> no, no, I, don't, I think that's pretty sure it's a monster ready spell. Sarkfall is also a monster ready spell, but it's fifth level. <sighs> Can I see it's a monster ready one? Frozen Rampart's the third level. Yeah, I don't, don't think that's even showing all the ice spells, actually. Um, I think that search didn't quite work properly. Oh, the wiki says no fourth level ice spells. Yep. So I just gotta... I mean, I was fairly close. I was down to 16% fairly when I put on all my things to make, uh, to max out my chance. So it shouldn't be too much longer. This is not perfect. Might have to do a butterflies as these guys don't die soon. In fact, I might actually do a butterflies here. Alright. Uh, oh, what bonus are you hunting for in Crypt? Hoping to find the actual Tiamat Pearl Dragon? I luckily found that one, uh, Serial Jinx. Yeah, thankfully. Thankfully found Tiamat. No, I'm just trying to get the, um, Hawfrost Cannonade down to 10% failure when I've got all my buffs on, because I got out those spells castable to do the challenge. So, yeah, I'm so glad I found Tiamat. That would have been so much more painful if I hadn't found Tiamat. I don't think half these guys can use staircases. Actually, it's, oh, more than half that can't. Ah, level 26. I could have maybe won before reaching level 26 if it wasn't for going for this title. I gotta kill this guy over here. Man, I might actually, I might just tell, no, I haven't explored this level much. I could butterflies again, but I don't really want to. I'm not that wounded just yet, but oh, I think I butterflies again. This is kind of a shame. This staircase has been really rough. I just wanted to get out of the crypt because I probably, honestly, I've honestly, like I've probably got enough experience already. Is this the, oh, what's not that? Is this the dude that pushed me on the staircase, a dire elephant? It probably is. At least I'm running out of guys here. All right. Hey, there's a revelation, so I might as well pop that one. <laughs> I don't think there's any reason to hold back. Um, I don't know where the staircase is anyway, so I could just go for it. Um... My brother in Christ, I splattered almost 500 draconians before getting one win with one. Almost 500? That's so many. Um, man, were you trying for them like, for like your first win or something? Because that is quite a few draconians to play. Also, Fantastic abilities even to help at this stage of the game. They're somewhat helpful. The overgrow for turning walls into plants. It was kind of useful because it works on walls you can't usually dig through. And then I got a bad trap layout in Zot 5. So that was useful. Um, yeah, the overgrow is still pretty useful. Bring out the plants. That guy tormented me, which is fine. But I don't know if uh, too much else here is that useful. I guess the Oclops can still do quite a bit. Oh, you just bad in the game. Six wins online. Hey, that's uh, that's a start. Yeah, I played, I played this game for way too many hours. <laughs> um... I used to be bad at this game. In fact, it took me hundreds of games to get my first win, I think. But, alright, let's look at this. 11%, that's probably fine. As long as I don't lose anything. I oh, had yeah, 9%, that looks fine. Right. Just put the correct rings back on for traveling around. But it looks like I can finally go get a win. So I need to go to Zot 5, grab my rune, get out of here. No, I use uh, my online win rate is actually decently good because I got all my uh bad games. Oh, that's not where I need to be. Got all my bad games like offline. 
I, di I didn't even play like online really until after I got my first win. So yeah, my online win rate is pretty decent. I imagine my offline win rate, if that was actually recorded anywhere, would be um rather shockingly bad. All right, I'm gonna grab that. These guys can't stop me. There's a teleport trap between me and them. Oh, you've never seen the new um orb sprite? Yeah, I kind of like it. It's kind of cool how it like animates. Um, oh, right, that's fine. We just fog and haste and then get out of here. Because it was like, that guy's going to torment me. That guy's going to malmutate me. Which, getting a little bit of malmutated wouldn't actually be too bad. As long as they don't lose edge. Uh, less energetic. I kind of want to lose the spells are harder to cast. Positive mutation. Which is why getting malmutated wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. Because that would make a, definitely make sure my spells were within 10% failure range. Because at the moment it's... It's going to be a little bit hard to make sure of that. Uh, fortunately, I have to go... This way. Alright, there we go. Didn't have to fight that guy after all. My resist still... They're fine. I don't have the resist electric still, but that's fine. Do you deserve deaths too? No, what are you talking about? Oh, there's... Uh, there's, like, uh, ice on my staircase. So the game doesn't want to go through it. No, that makes sense. Gotta be careful with this guy. Ashley. Let's overgrow here. Get a few plants to help me out. Find it. They're doing something, but they're not quite as good as the Oculus plants that take it out. Because no one resists the acid, really. So Oculus plants are really good at this point in the game. Oh, so I'm seeing time for secret bonus points. Uh, I don't think so. This character's not set up for um, ziggurats. But yeah, I mean, you might have to if you didn't find Tiamat, right? Because you can get um, you can get a pearl dragon and a ziggurat. Hey, lunch level one. Okay, well, now it's time to make sure I've done everything before I uh, exit out here. So, only train pull ups, throwing, and fighting for weapon skills. Check. Get the spells going. Okay. Wizardry. Uh, wizardry. Hey, there we go. 9%. All right. Check on that one. So I got a fire, ice, earth, air. Let me just double check. Earth, fire, air, ice. I mean, they're in a different order, but that doesn't matter. Uh, oh, you mean unless you go higher level elemental magic, you don't think Draconians can zig very well? Yeah. I mean, they'd be okay in zigs, but ziggurats eventually you really want to get some heavy armor and cast spells and heavy armor with all your skills maxed out, right? Use your breath at least a hundred times. I did check that, and that was definitely true, because you can see in here I've used my breath a hundred times, and I used it a couple of times since then. So that one's true. Um... Reached XL7 on Dungeon Level 7. I did that. Then win the game. Okay, so as soon as I win the game, I'll do that one. Kill Tiamat. I did that. Excellent. So we're done. We're good to go. Let's get out of here. <sighs> Escape with a couple of wizardry rings. What made made such a difference? I reckon this character would have absolutely struggled without fighting that one. That was amazing. That made the biggest difference, I think, to this run out of everything. Yeah, I mean, my other gear was alright. Like the um, eight strengths called this one was pretty good. But nothing else super special on this run. I got like, I got a lot of blinking at, at least in the end. And I used a lot of blinking as well. Got a decent amount of haste, used a lot of haste. Used all my might, never found many might. But that was not a bad game. I was inspiring to see maybe you'll participate. Yeah, I definitely recommend like giving these ones a try. At least once anyway, see if you like them. Oh yeah, two, uh, three and a half hours. That was a reasonably quick game. But no, I need to grab the mog file there. And I need to submit this one. I hate my how my mouse is not working properly. I need to figure out why that is. Is this the right one? That's a red draconian gladiator. Yep, that's the one. Uh, where do I submit the submitter run? It's like the false time we clicked it. There we go. 
That is the one. I should be on this list somewhere. Although you probably don't see the list popping up on the stream when it pops up, but it should be Wizard Ike. That is me. Try hard. That sounds right. I did everything and I checked through those to make sure I'd done everything. All right, let's submit it. And hopefully I was great and I did do everything. Well, I might finish up around here because that was a, that was a good